Chapter 1421 Mithril Essence Translator Born to be when Huolong appeared, the world became a sea of flames. Though Silverwing Heavenly King Ants all had to retreat, Huolong's flame energy grew more and more terrifying with each passing second. After absorbing so many divine flame crystals, its aura was now several times greater than the golden phoenix it had absorbed back then. Now that it released its full power, the Ant King and Ant Queen's expressions changed. The might of the heaven incinerating flame cowed them. If Long Chen ordered it to attack, the consequences would be unthinkable. They felt an irresistible terror in the face of the heaven incinerating flame. Their powerful bodies didn't fear blades, but they were afraid of fire. Their wings were especially vulnerable. Once they were incinerated, they would never grow back. In that case, they would never be able to fly again. Human, what do you want? Shouted the Ant King uneasily. Of course, even if Long Chen wasn't facing the Silverwing Heavenly King Ants, his opponents would still be uneasy. Huo Long was just that terrifying. It could annihilate this swarm in an instant. Although the Ant King and Ant Queen might be able to survive. So what? If their swarm was annihilated, their nation would still be ruined. Don't panic. I said that I don't want to fight against you. How about we just have a drink first? Long Chen took out a jug of wine from his spatial ring, as well as a table and bowls. The Ant King and Ant Queen exchanged a look. They slowly walked over to Long Chen, as well as silently ordering the other ants to retreat. If a battle really did start, they wouldn't be the slightest bit of help. They would only increase the casualties. Long Chen put away Huo Long, pouring three bowls of wine. He smiled and said, Are you two not afraid my wine might be poisoned? The Silverwing Heavenly King ants aren't afraid of poison, snorted the Ant Queen. Good, then let me express my sincerity toward our business. Whether or not we can strike a deal today, I'd like to first offer my respect to both of you with this wine. Long Chen drank his wine in one gulp. The Ant King and Ant Queen hesitated for a moment before drinking their wine as well. They truly weren't afraid of poison, and they didn't sense any danger before drinking. So they also drank it in one gulp. This wine, the Ant King and Ant Queen were shocked and delighted. This wine possessed a special heavenly dar realm. Even as magical beasts, they managed to sense the heavenly deos more clearly. Of course this wine is good wine, or how could I take it out to express my sincerity? Long Chen smiled and poured out more wine. This time, the Ant King and Ant Queen didn't wait for Long Chen. They drank the wine in one gulp again. Human, are you planning on making a trade? Asked the Ant Queen directly, pointing at the wine jug. This wine is just an expression of my sincerity and isn't part of our business transaction. If you like it, you can just take it, said Long Chen magnanimously. You're not using the wine to trade with us? Then what are you using? Asked the Ant Queen, seeming a bit disappointed. As magical beasts, they possessed long lifespans. This was the advantage the Heavenly Deos had blessed them with. However, their comprehension of the heavenly deos was significantly inferior to the human race. That was why pure blood magical beasts that had reached the 11th rank would normally transform to take human form. Humans were the most spiritual of all life forms, and this form allowed them to get closer to the heavenly deos. The ant king and ant queen were 11th rank magical beasts, which was why they normally stayed in their human forms to cultivate. They had never imagined that drinking wine could allow them to get closer to the heavenly deos. That was why they were addicted to this feeling after just one taste. The wine's usage is limited. You drink it and your comprehension only increases ever so slightly. What I'm offering will allow your future descendants to be immune to fire, said Long Chen. What? Impossible. Both the Ant King and Ant Queen let out a startled cry. Their fear of fire was innate and could not be changed. Whether or not it's possible is dependent on how much mithril essence you have, said Long Chen. Clearly, this business was possible. When doing business, all you needed to know was what the other side needed most. What he offered them was a way to make up for their one fatal weakness. It was enough to make them insane. If you can really do this, my Silverwing Heavenly King Ant Colony will give you everything we've accumulated over 1300 years, said the Ant King. Long Chen looked at the Ant King and felt that he wasn't someone who would try to play cheap tricks. He nodded. How refreshing. Originally, 
Long Chen had been worried that they would lie and say that they only had a few drops of mithril essence in their entire stock, that would make him cough up blood. This kind of practice was common amongst the human race, and it was very irritating. But Long Chen felt that the Ant King wasn't such a person, so he didn't bother asking the exact amount. A flame crystal appeared in front of him, one that was just as tall as he was. The Ant King and Ant Queen both jumped in shock, fearing that he was turning hostile. They felt a terrifying pressure from this crystal, that was an instinctive terror from their souls. This thing, it has divine energy inside it, exclaimed the Queen Ant. Long Chen nodded inside. Magical beasts weren't good at tricking others. It seemed that he had been too careful. In a normal business transaction between humans, even if the other side's wares were amazing treasures that you needed, you had to act like it was nothing and nitpick at it. That was to make it easier to bargain the price down. For the queen ant to directly exclaim that it had divine energy, it was clear that they weren't used to this kind of scheming. This crystal had come from an ancient formation in the heaven dragon flame region. It was because Long Chen had taken out all the crystals that the formation had lost its effect, and the Aldeville monster had been released. That was what had caused all the chaos in Pill Valley. Now, all he did was take out one. Just one was very precious, and he still had many left. Exchanging it for what he needed right now was worth it. There's no need for me to introduce this object, right? This divine flame crystal contains boundless flame energy that possesses a divine attribute. Although you can't directly absorb the flame energy, the divine energy can be absorbed slowly, and by doing so, it will change your constitutions. The divine aspect of its energy possesses its own flame energy. Absorbing it won't let you reach the point that you can control flames, but it will definitely make up for your weakness toward fire. I should mention that this divine crystal is closely related to my flame, and my flame is the heaven incinerating flame ranked third on the earth flame ranking. By absorbing its energy, not only will your resistance toward flames rise, but the change in your constitutions will also be inherited by your future descendants, said Long Chen. You're right. I'm willing to hand over all our mithril essence for it. Many thanks, said the queen ant fervently. All of her previous anger had vanished. What Long Chen was offering them was useful for them presently and in the future. The Queen Ant sent out orders to gather up all their mithril essence. Long Chen directly gave the divine crystal to them. You can try testing it first. Carefully draw out a strand of the divine energy inside and confirm there's nothing wrong with it. There's no need. Just now I secretly tried absorbing a bit. Thank you, said the Queen Ant frankly. Long Chen laughed inside. Doing business with magical beasts was truly easy. The mithril essence was quickly sent over, and Long Chen was shocked to get 18 VATs of it. This was not the unrefined mithril or this was the highest purity mithril. This mithril essence was stored as rations by the Silverwing Heavenly King Ants. In truth, it was a bit disgusting. After the mithril ore was eaten by the Silverwing Heavenly King Ants, it would be digested and what they pooped out was the refined mithril. That mithril wasn't very pure, so the Silverwing Heavenly King Ants would continuously devour and refine it, leaving behind only the purest part of it which was the mithril essence. This mithril essence was saved for the Silverwing Heavenly King Ants' top geniuses. To put it frankly, one was eating unrefined grains, while one was eating fine bread. It sounded a bit disgusting. But if you viewed the Silverwing Heavenly King Ants as tools to refine the ore, it was easier to accept. In the Martial Heaven continent, a drop of ordinary mithril was enough to buy a city. It was so rare that you couldn't buy it even if you had the money. Guo Ran had been asking for more of it constantly, and even with the Huai insect's power, he had only managed to obtain a bit in several months. In the end, the little bit of mithril that he obtained and refined into mithril essence was only enough for his own armor. There wasn't enough for anyone else. Long Chen had Guo Ran use it all on himself first, as after all, he was the one who depended on his armor. The other's armor and weapons were just there to help them. But if Guo Ran didn't have his armor, he'd be slaughtered on the battlefield. In the end, Guo Ran had only produced 30-some drops of mithril essence for his own armor. However, now there were 18 VATs of it, and these were no ordinary VATs. They were 30 meters wide and 200 meters tall. 
That was why Long Chen jumped in shock. This is too much. How about I take half of them? Long Chen was now embarrassed. He felt like he was swindling them. No, you can take it all, or we'll feel ashamed, said the king and he felt like he was the one getting a huge advantage. Seeing that, Long Chen didn't force him. He directly took all the 18 VATs of Mithril Essence. The king ant told him that they had a huge colony of Silverwing Heavenly King Ants that could refine more Mithril Essence each day. There was no need for Long Chen to worry about it. After taking them all, Long Chen handed over a dozen jars of the Wine God Palace's wine as well, delighting the ants. With his business complete, Long Chen bid a sad farewell to the king ant and queen ant. This time, he didn't break through space. Instead, he headed off in a direction the queen ant had pointed out for him. Chapter 1422 Illusion Formation Translator Born to be Long Chen learned from the queen ant that they were originally magical beasts from the dark forest. They had been under the dark forest's rule. However, the dark forest's magical beasts were violent and the competition between them was a fierce slaughter. They had only accidentally fallen into this world because they had been hunted down. As a result, they had flourished in this world and never returned to the Dark Forest. They told Long Chen that within the Dark Forest, all magical beasts had to listen to the leaders, or they would be killed. This place was like a paradise outside their original home. The tree demons couldn't enter this region, and other magical beasts didn't possess the power to kill them. They had been here for over 1300 years. They were local hegemons and very familiar with this world. Some of the Silverwing Heavenly King Ants were always out scouting. They also went out to see the situation in other minor worlds and if there were more resources there. Long Chen looked at the grass map in his hand. It was about as useful as grass. Even with the directions of the Queen Ant, he had difficulty understanding anything about it. There was one particular location that he wanted to go to. Apparently, that was a place of chaos, most likely the core of this battlefield and a place a sovereign had fought. Following the map, Long Chen came to a sad conclusion. He was lost. He could only blindly look around. On his way, he encountered quite a few people. He killed all the corrupt experts he encountered, and as for the few from the ancient family alliance, he ignored them. Suddenly, surging waves of pressure came from ahead. A violent and evil aura appeared, along with raging resentment. Long Chen hastily rushed forward, only to see a region of chaos. Mist shrouded everything inside this space. Lightning, wind, and rain would appear randomly, sometimes alone and sometimes together. Then the wild weather would suddenly vanish, replaced by a wonderland of flowing streams, graceful pavilions, and immortal music. Then the wonderland was shattered by a mournful wail. Mountains of corpses and rivers of blood appeared, like hell on earth. There was someone in the river of blood, crazily struggling to survive. It was like he was on the verge of death, simply trying to grasp a single strand of hope but he couldn't grab it. That scene was chilling. Long Chen's expression was grave. He sensed an extremely terrifying aura from the mist. Whatever was inside, this place was filled with danger. He looked around. Some people were also standing before the mist and staring at it in shock. Long Chen stood there for a long time, examining it. However, he was unable to find any pattern to the changing scene. This was a region of chaos. Unable to see through it, Long Chen took a deep breath and walked straight in. That person, he's the Zhuanshan Dao sect's Long Chen. The few people watching the mist but not daring to advance all recognized Long Chen. They were powerful rank 8 celestials. But sensing the mortal danger from the mist, they didn't dare to enter. HMPH, that damnable heaven Caesar. He should have died a long time ago. He's getting off too easy by dying here. Although Long Chen had already proven he wasn't a heaven Caesar, under the secret urging of several powers, everyone knew that Long Chen was a berserk heaven Caesar. One person told ten, and ten told a hundred. Practically, everyone had perceived Long Chen as a heaven Caesar but he had simply hidden himself very well, without exposing any flaws. No one could do anything to him for now. Although they had no proof, the fact that he was a heaven Caesar was silently acknowledged by all, especially the people who belonged to the opposing factions. They didn't doubt it at all. Long Chen suddenly vanished. Lightning runes appeared on his feet. 
and he appeared beside the ancient family expert who had been mocking him. The ancient family expert was appalled and hastily circulated his heavenly Tao energy to resist. But Long Chen was too fast, and his neck was caught. Long Chen held him like holding a chicken. He dragged that rank 8 celestial toward the mist. You're so envious of me? Then come with me. Long Chen quickly reached the border of the mist. The ancient family expert was completely terrified. But Long Chen's berserk energy had completely sealed his spiritual yuan. And even his heavenly Tao energy was cut off from him. Unable to use any power to resist. He could only watch as Long Chen dragged him into the mist. The other experts were all shocked. But they also blessed their luck. Fortunately, their mouths were tighter. And although they had thought the same thing as this person, they hadn't said it. An old teaching said that disaster always originated from the mouth. This particular expert was using his life to demonstrate it. The ancient family expert could neither move nor speak. A sobbing sound came from him that sounded like begging. But Long Chen ignored him. He walked into the mist, disappearing from their sight. How terrifying. A rank 8 celestial was unable to resist at all. Those experts were all terrified as they watched Long Chen vanished. Although there were countless stories about Long Chen in the cultivation world, many people thought they were simply stories the Zhuangshan Dao sect was intentionally spreading to shock others. The scene of Long Chen killing a rank 9 celestial had spread. However, many people thought that the only reason why Long Chen had been able to kill Luo Minghao was because of the Zhuangshan Tower supporting him in secret. So they weren't particularly afraid when they saw Long Chen. In their opinion, even if they couldn't beat him, running away should be no problem. Yet, as soon as Long Chen took action, they believed the legends. That ancient family expert had used his life as the price to prove those stories. He was truly a brave man. Long Chen walked forward, and the mist grew thicker and thicker until he couldn't even see his own fingers. His divine sense was suppressed and couldn't extend out of his body. Long Chen held the ancient family expert in front of him as he slowly walked forward. Buzz. The ancient family expert's body suddenly twitched, and Long Chen immediately came to a stop. The ancient family expert's hair was standing on end, and his eyes were about to pop out. His expression was one of absolute terror. He bit down on his lip so hard that blood flowed down. Long Chen released him and quietly watched. He quickly noticed that this guy's heavenly Tao energy was slowly leaving his body. It was entering the primal chaos space, being absorbed by the heavenly Tao tree. His heavenly Tao energy left his body, so he will definitely die. The heavenly Daos already view him as a dead person. Long Chen was lost in thought. In his many years of experience with celestials, this was a first. Some strange energy was slowly killing this celestial in front of him. But even before he completely died, his heavenly Tao energy was exiting his body. All his heavenly Tao energy was stripped away, and a new rank 8 heavenly Tao fruit appeared in the primal chaos space. But this ancient family expert was still panting crazily. It can't be seen, and it can't be touched. It should be an illusion formation. As soon as you enter the illusion, the heavenly Deos judge you to be dead. What a terrifying illusion formation the ancient family expert finally collapsed on the ground. Lifeless. Even his spiritual fluctuations slowly faded. Long Chen's expression was grave as he looked at the corpse. There was just one more step for him to take. This one step would bring him to a hellish world. In the end, he took the step. As soon as he did, the world around him changed. Raindrops fell from the sky, landing on his body. A fishy smell hung in the air. A sea of blood was below his feet, and bones floated within it. Huge corpses formed floating islands in this place. The wails of countless fiends came from the sky, and a group of human-shaped skeletons attacked Long Chen. They had a pair of bat-like wings and a bone trident in their hands. Long Chen didn't dodge. He allowed the bone tridents to stab through his heart. Pain. Extreme pain. Long Chen could clearly sense the sharp trident stabbing into his body. He could even feel them stabbing his heart. He noticed all the details down to his fresh blood spurting out. This feeling is really realistic. If I didn't have that fellow as a scapegoat, I might have fallen for it. Long Chen smiled. At this moment, more and more of the fiends attacked him. He had no spiritual yuan, no weapons, and no power. He had nothing to depend on. 
So after a person loses their strongest support, they will become afraid and cowardly, like a domineering wild crab that has been stripped of their shell. This means your strongest point is also your weakest point. Whoever designed this illusion formation was quite skilled. More and more trident stabbed through Long Chen's body. Blood poured out of him. The fiends laughed sinisterly as they saw his blood flow out. Scram. Long Chen let out a shout. And a terrifying will erupted. That was an unrivaled will that looked down from above the nine heavens. In front of this will, everything else was a joke. Those fiends all exploded. And the entire world of blood faded away. The world of mist returned. If a person's will wasn't strong enough, they'd be killed by the formation. But this formation is useless on me. With his heart prepared, he continued forward. After a dozen steps, the scenery changed. He entered a world of birdsong and flowers. Chapter 1423 Finally see that person again translator. Born to be the blue sky was empty, and the warm sunlight shone brightly. Green grass covered the ground, extending to the horizon. Greedily absorbing the sunlight and the earth's blessings. A lively mouse curiously stared at Long Chen from its tunnel opening. There was no slaughter in this world of peace and tranquility. The sunlight shining down on Long Chen gave him an urge to relax and take a nap. This is a harbor for people's hearts. A paradise. Unfortunately, illusions are just illusions. A person can't live a lifetime in an illusion. Long Chen shook his head. With a shout. The scene in front of him vanished again. He continued onward. After going through two environments, he realized this illusion formation targeted a person's Deo heart. It targeted the weakest places in a person's heart. On his way forward, he saw several people lying on the ground with content smiles. They looked like happy babies, but their souls had already dissipated. They were dead. Instead of dying to a fierce slaughter, they had died slowly like frogs being boiled. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. Once you fell asleep in that peaceful world, you would never wake up. The threats you could see weren't dangerous. It was those you couldn't see that were truly terrifying. In this illusion formation, anyone with weak wills would die. Based on those people's attire, they should have been experts with decent backgrounds. But their wills just weren't strong enough. This had nothing to do with a person's combat power. Many talented geniuses ended up having everything go easy for them in their lifetimes, which meant their wills were rarely tempered. Only people with powerful hearts that had gone through true tests of life and death would be able to survive this formation. As he continued forward, Long Chen saw all kinds of illusions. He saw his parents in the eastern wasteland together with his little sister. Unfortunately, these illusions were based on his memories. After so many years, their appearance should have changed. As for Long Xiaoyu, she was still as tiny as ever. The only thing this formation did to him was make his eyes tear up when he saw his parents and sister. Despite knowing it was an illusion, he couldn't help it. He had left the eastern wasteland so long ago. He had experienced so much, and he felt weary. When he saw his mother's warm expression, he suddenly recalled that when he had been bullied, he wouldn't tell his mother but his mother would already know about it and tightly hug him, comforting him. His mother held him once more, comforting him once more. In front of his lovers, he was a confident and easygoing Prince Charming. In front of the Dragonblood Legion, he was an undefeatable battle god. In front of his fierce enemies, he was a merciless killing god. However, in front of his mother, he was still that child. There was still a soft spot in his heart and that particular spot would only be shown when he was in front of his mother. After a long moment, Long Chen wiped away his tears and steeled his heart. The scene in front of him shattered again. He continued forward. He constantly entered more illusions and repeatedly smashed his way through them. His advancement was rapid. Something's wrong. Long Chen suddenly felt that something was off. He looked down and rubbed the ground. There's something below. He dug a hole in the ground and quickly found a strange bone. He couldn't tell what bone it was. It had to be as big as a house. Long Chen pulled fiercely, and the ground suddenly split open. He yanked out the bone and saw that it was connected to another bone. As he pulled harder, he was shocked to find that it was extremely long. Just what is this? He pulled and a huge tail appeared. The more he pulled out, the thicker the tail became. It was like he was pulling out a huge bone snake. Boom. 
Eventually, he pulled out a whole giant skeleton from the ground. It was like a mountain and was probably just as large as the Aldeville monster he had encountered in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. He jumped onto its tail and walked toward its head. He saw some beautiful decorative lines on its skull. Suddenly, he felt a burst of drowsiness overtake him, and he fell from the skeleton. These lines are strange. I can't look directly at them. Long Chen's heart shook. Just now, as he had run forward. He had looked right at the decorative lines and almost fallen asleep. He jumped back onto the skeleton, but this time he didn't look at those lines. He went to the highest point of the skeleton. His heart began to pound. He finally saw the full appearance of the skeleton. It was similar in shape to a dragon, but it had a huge pair of wings and three heads. Is this the legendary three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast? Long Chen hastily checked the skull. He saw a large hole on each forehead where a third eye would be. The three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast was a legendary existence. Or perhaps it should be called an existence that only existed in myths and stories. They had long since vanished from the martial heaven continent. Nothing was left of them. In fact, whether or not they even existed was a contentious topic on the martial heaven continent. Legend was that the three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast was extremely terrifying. Each design on their bodies represented a kind of illusion. Its three heads represented the heavens, the earth, and mankind. Its nine eyes represented the peak of the Tao. The Tao went from simple to complicated. The start was one, and the end was nine. Nine represented the peak, and it represented the Tao of all things in heaven and earth. Legend was that its illusory arts killed people without a trace. In stories. It was said that it was a nightmare beast that would hunt you down while you were dreaming. When Long Chen had first seen a picture of the three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast, he had also thought it was nonsense. If such a terrifying thing had truly existed in the world, the world would have been destroyed a long time ago. If it existed, then anyone who slept would be killed. Who would be left alive in this world? However, now that he personally saw its skeleton, and when he thought of what had just happened to him, he felt a chill. This nine-head three-eye illusion spirit beast had been dead for who knew how many years. Its flesh had long since disappeared, leaving behind just this skeleton. It had nothing, but it had killed so many people who entered this mist region. Now Long Chen finally believed that some of the myths from the era of legends were true. He walked toward the top of its eyes, which was like a huge cave to him. As soon as he got close, he felt a burst of pain in his soul. He hastily retreated, looking at it in shock. This skeleton possessed some kind of energy that rejected him. A treasure, an absolute treasure. Long Chen's heart blazed. This skeleton might be a perfect gift for Meng Chi. The three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast was an incredibly rare soul beast. Its illusory arts could be activated with spiritual strength. So Meng Chi might even be able to absorb some of its spiritual strength. Long Chen didn't stand on courtesy. He directly drew the skeleton into the primal chaos space. Once the three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast was in his primal chaos space, the mist surrounding him slowly faded. The world became clear. Long Chen saw many figures in this huge space now. When the mist faded, those people were all shocked. But after a moment of shock, they became madmen, charging toward one direction. There was a huge altar in that place. Surrounding it were nine stone pillars that soared beyond the clouds. The altar was a hundred miles wide, and two figures were currently fighting on it. What was drawing everyone's attention wasn't their fight. All their attention was focused on a light barrier at the center of the altar. At the center of the altar was a stone platform. There was a pitch black saber stabbed into it. The saber had penetrated deeply into the platform, leaving only a portion of it exposed to the outside. Its hilt had an image of a fiendish face that was sinister and frightening on it. The blade itself had an image of two black dragons, but with it stabbed into the platform, there was no way to see the full design. Black mist swirled around the saber, giving off a boundless evil air. It was mighty and domineering, seeming to desire the lives of everything in this world. It was very chilling. The black saber was constantly quivering, as if it was alive and trying to escape the platform but some kind of energy was binding it, preventing it from escaping. Everyone rushed toward the altar frantically. Their goal was that black saber, 
and the corrupt experts desired it the most. However, Long Chen wasn't looking at the saber. He was drawn to one of the people fighting. She was a woman wearing a green dress, and her hair was tied up in a high bun. Mist floated around her. The mist blocked people from seeing her face clearly, but a powerful life aura came from her. She was like the goddess of life. When Long Chen saw her, his entire body shook. A fierce blaze ignited in his eyes. Chu Yao he didn't need to see her face. Just her aura, the closeness he felt with her soul, was enough for him to confirm that this was the person he yearned to see. With the mist around her, Chu Yao seemed almost illusory, looking like a fairy. She held a sword in her hand. However, closer examination revealed that it wasn't a true sword but a sword-shaped leaf. Each time it was swung, it tore through space. Facing Chu Yao was a large, long-haired man. He was fighting with his fists, and each one of his punches caused the void to explode. Scram! Just as everyone was about to reach the altar, the large man suddenly roared and smashed his fist at the sky. Chapter 1424 Sand Energy Translator Born to be BoomNovaloon.com The sky exploded, and an endless stream of quicksand flowed out at them. This is, a variant of the Earth element. He's the ancient family alliance's Shagwangayan. Run. Those experts that had been rushing forward so fervently now fled for their lives. When they collided with the quicksand, they were blown back, vomiting blood. The quicksand possessed some kind of strange power. When it collided with them, divine light appeared, heavily injuring them. That saber belongs to me, Shagwangayan. If anyone dares to touch it, I'll kill them, roared the long-haired man. After he stated his name, everyone retreated. Long Chen surprisingly saw Ji Yui Yan amongst them. He couldn't help being shocked. Just what kind of background did Sha Guangyan possess to intimidate this many people with just his name? It had to be known that there were seven rank nine celestials among them. The quicksand quickly formed a sea around the altar. It then wrapped up, forming a large ball of sand that blocked people's side of the altar. Without forming any hand seals, he relied on just his spiritual strength to create such a defense. Long Chen was startled. This Sha Guangyan was definitely powerful. With the altar enveloped by sand, the black saber was blocked from sight. Everyone's attention focused on Chu Yao and Sha Guangyan. Because of their wild greed, no one noticed a certain outsider amongst them. At this moment, Long Chen wasn't wearing the Zhuanshan Dao sect's robes. He was wearing black robes, and he wasn't particularly conspicuous within the crowd. Doesn't that woman come from the Skywood Divine Palace? No one other than people from the Skywood Divine Palace could possess such strong wood spiritual chi with Sha Guangyan intimidating them. They didn't dare to get closer. They began to mutter. You're right. That's the Skywood Divine Palace's most outstanding disciple. What was her name? Right. It's Fairy Chu Yao one of the ancient family experts clapped himself on the head in recognition. Fairy Chu Yao? The one claimed to be the Skywood Divine Palace's strongest disciple? Despite possessing an innate wood spirit body, she missed her most optimal cultivation period. But with the full effort of the Skywood Divine Palace, she still soared into the heavens in one go, said an ancient race expert. Even the ancient races who didn't particularly care about the righteous path were aware of this matter. Chu Yao was like a miracle in the cultivation world. For someone with an innate wood spirit body to miss her golden cultivation age had made countless people sigh in regret. But then, they heard that the Skywood Divine Palace's master had spent all the Skywood Divine Elixir stored in the Skywood Divine Palace on Chu Yao. Using this, she made up for Chu Yao's deficit. Furthermore, the palace master had sacrificed 3,000 years of her longevity for Chu Yao. A beauty that could topple a nation had transformed into an old crone overnight. That had shaken the martial heaven continent. That was why everyone thought that Chu Yao was blessed. They also admired the Skywood Divine Palace's master for her boldness, as well as the way she raised her disciples. So Chu Yao's name had also spread through the central plains. HMPH. So what? That Chu Yao will be killed by my corrupt path or refined into a puppet sooner or later, said a corrupt expert coldly. The Skywood Divine Palace was one of the representative sects of the righteous path. They were the enemies that the corrupt path hated the most. In the past righteous and corrupt battles, 
there was always the shadow of the Skywood Divine Palace. The righteous path depended on their contributions. So the corrupt path hated the Skywood Divine Palace to the core. Seeing everyone bewitched by Chu Yao's beauty and talent provoked that hatred. Idiot. Don't forget that the ancient family alliance is allied with the Martial Heaven Alliance. If there weren't orders from higher ups, do you think we'd work together with you? Clean your mouth before you speak again, demanded an expert from the ancient family alliance. There were experts from the ancient races, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, and other powers. Some of these powers were neutral and didn't participate in the struggle between the righteous and corrupt paths. However, the ancient family alliance was different. They were allies with the Martial Heaven Alliance. During the righteous and corrupt battles, they would occasionally appear and help the righteous path. After all, they were also from the human race. Other than that connection, there were many areas in which they shared resources and aligned interests. Their relationship had become strained once Long Chen had appeared. But this didn't affect their hostility toward the corrupt path. The corrupt path looked down on the righteous path's hypocrisy, while the righteous path looked down on the corrupt path's barbarous, murderous tendencies. Both sides hated the other. Now that all these powers were gathered in the spirit world, they were more or less under the rules of the dark forest, and they did their best to avoid fighting. However, the corrupt path's words had ended up provoking the ancient family alliance's disciples. They naturally had to retort. Furthermore, Chu Yao possessed a special heir to her. No one would want to be enemies with this fairy-like woman. Allies? HMPH. So it was your ally who killed Luo Mingheo? After they slaughtered one of your rank 9 celestials, you're still fine being allies? How stupid, sneered the corrupt expert. All the ancient family alliance's experts were enraged, as there was no way for them to retort to this. It was a clear slap in their faces. HMPH. You want to drive a wedge between us? So even the mindless killing corrupt path uses schemes. What a joke. Long Chen is just one sect's disciple and cannot represent the entire righteous path. Furthermore, how many people from your corrupt path has he killed? He has been tramping over the corrupt path's bones since the eastern wasteland. From the Jiuli secret realm, the immemorial path, the eastern seashore, to Devil Spirit Mountain. He's been slaughtering your corrupt path. If you lined up all the people he killed, it'd probably be enough to loop around the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. You might be able to brag, but how many years has he been on the top of your corrupt path's must-kill list? Hurry up and get to work. Long Chen's still alive and well, and who knows when he'll get bored and kill some more corrupt experts for fun? If you really have any skill, then go kill Long Chen and destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect does standing there spouting crap have any use. One of the eloquent ancient family experts gave a whole speech. His sharp words caused the corrupt experts' expressions to darken. You're provoking us, roared the corrupt experts. What are you going to do about it? The ancient family alliance's experts refused to appear weak. I don't see either of you really fighting, so stop arguing. I can't hear that beauty's words over your shouting, said an impatient voice. A corrupt expert raged. Who do you think you are? You want to die, is that it? However, when the corrupt experts and the ancient family alliance's experts saw who had spoken, they all fell deathly silent. Like sheep that had noticed a lion amongst them, they fled in all directions. Long. Chen. Everyone gulped, staring at Long Chen who had just been beside them. The corrupt path and the ancient races hated Long Chen to the core. Even the ancient family alliance was his enemy. Within the crowd, Ji Yui Yan's expression changed. Even with so many other experts present, he didn't feel safe. He had fought against Long Chen three times. On the third time, Long Chen had clearly viewed him as insignificant. If he hadn't been targeting the ancient race expert and ancient family expert, Ji Yui Yan would probably have died. Long Chen ignored the crowd. Although there were several rank 9 celestials here, he didn't feel any fear of them. Although killing them would be very difficult, he wouldn't mind if they tried to kill him. If his luck was good, perhaps he'd be able to obtain a rank 9 heavenly Dao fruit. Chu Ya stood there, facing Sha Guangyan and not aware of what was happening outside the battlefield. She didn't dare to be distracted while fighting. 
as she was the only one who knew just how powerful Sha Guangyan was. Fairy Chu Yao, I don't want to be enemies with you. This ancient blade is very important to me. I must obtain it, so I hope you won't make things hard on me, said Sha Guangyan. He was also well aware of how powerful Chu Yao was and had to be restrained. Chu Yao shook her head. This ancient blade is also a must-have for me. I'm sorry, but I can't let you have it. Fairy Chu Yao, you're going too far. This ancient blade is clearly a killing tool. It goes against your life Dao. Since you are unable to use this saber, why must you fight me over it? Sha Guangyan's expression sank slightly. He was pressed for time. But if a real fight started between him and Chu Yao, he had no confidence in being able to defeat her quickly. If they fought at full power, it would cause a huge disturbance. Right now, the majority of the mist in this region had faded, but the mist in the outer regions was still in the process of fading away. He could sense several powerful existences within that mist. So when he had been fighting Chu Yao just now, he hadn't used his full power for fear of drawing those existences over. However, Chu Yao refused to let him have his way, infuriating him. Killing intent began to rise in his eyes. I know that after Blood Drinker shattered on Devil Spirit Mountain, he hasn't been able to find a good weapon. This saber's domineering nature fits his well, so I want to give it to him as a gift, said Chu Yao. She didn't realize the person she was talking about was standing nearby. A warm smile on his face. Long Chen felt a wave of emotion. She was always thinking of him, but he had never gone to find her. He felt grateful but ashamed at the same time. HMPH, are you talking about that idiot Long Chen? Sha Guangyan's expression immediately became dark, and his fists were tightly clenched. Chapter 1425 Berserk Sha Guangyan Translator Born to be Chu Yao had originally had a smile, but Sha Guangyan's words caused her expression to sink. Sha Guangyan, Long Chen is my future husband. Insulting my husband is insulting me. Come. I won't hold back any longer. You don't need to hold back either. Chu Yao's voice became icy cold. The leaf sword in her hand transformed into mist and dissipated. Husband? Ha ha ha. I'd advise you to change your family plan. As soon as I leave the spirit world, I will kill that idiot who dared to humiliate my ancient family alliance. Sha Guangyan laughed. I don't think you'll be able to leave the spirit world. Just as Chu Yao was about to form hand seals. An extremely familiar voice rang out. Long Chen walked forward. The crowd of experts from the ancient races, corrupt path, and ancient family alliance all moved out of the way. Long Chen. Chu Yao couldn't believe her eyes. Her tears welled up. That was the person she had missed day and night. A single separation had lasted several years. It had been over a thousand bitter days and nights. All the hard work she put into her cultivation was to protect this man. Now that he appeared, she found herself unable to speak. He had the same eyes, the same face, and that same warm smile. However, this face had become more resolute over this time. This was the maturity that came with going through wind and frost, rain and snow. Long Chen slowly walked over to Chu Yao. He thought back to Phoenix Cry when the two of them had sworn to grow old together. While surrounded by enemies, they had depended on each other. This beauty had lost any of her old immaturity. Now that the two of them finally met, they didn't say anything. Long Chen carefully drew Chu Yao into his embrace as there was no need for words. All they needed to feel was the other's heartbeats. Just at this moment, Sha Guangyan's expression sank, and he reached out to grab Long Chen's throat. For Long Chen to ignore him in front of all these experts was definitely an insult. He refused to be humiliated like this Novaloon.com as soon as he attacked. Chu Yao tried to stop him, but Long Chen tightly held her. Just as Sha Guangyan's hand was about to reach Long Chen, a palm swung beautifully from an inconceivable angle, viciously striking him across the face. This slap landed directly. The huge power caused Sha Guangyan's face to distort, and he shot back like a shooting star. He smashed straight through his sand barrier and into a distant stone pillar. The ground shook. Heavens. Startled cries rang out. The ancient family alliance's experts couldn't believe that someone like Sha Guangyan had been sent flying by Long Chen. Even the rank 9 celestials gulped. 
They were unable to comprehend how Long Chen had done this. Long Chen's hand was still in his slapping posture, while his other hand was tightly holding Chu Yao. His head was nestled into her hair. He hadn't even glanced at Sha Guangyan. In that instant, it was like time had turned still. Everyone stared at Long Chen and Chu Yao dumbfoundedly. Long Chen wasn't showing off. He simply wanted to hold Chu Yao longer. Even an extra blink of an eye made his heart feel a little bit better. Holding Chu Yao's body, inhaling her fragrance, he had an urge to cry. From Chu Yao's muffled sobs, he completely understood her feelings. It was because he did that he felt even more ashamed. Chu Yao's life had been filled with pitfalls. She had been schemed against as a child and used as a bargaining chip. But because of Long Chen, she had resolutely jumped from a small, muddy pool into a giant whirlpool. However, she had never complained. In their several years apart, Long Chen had fought countless battles and gone through countless dangers. But Chu Yao had endured her own bitterness, forcing herself to suppress how much she missed him. She had focused entirely on cultivating. She had lived every day in this contradiction. She definitely hadn't suffered less than Long Chen. When Long Chen thought back to his time with Chu Yao, he couldn't recall a single thing he had ever given Chu Yao in return for all that she had done for him. It had always been Chu Yao silently supporting him. He held her tightly, almost wanting to pull her into his own body. In his shame, he even forgot about his own body, leaving his hand hanging in the air. He forgot about everything except Chu Yao. In the eyes of everyone else, this was a kind of flaunting, a taunt and an intense provocation. Die. Sha Guangyan roared. He slammed the ground with his palms, and the earth transformed into a sea of sand. A large hand flew out of it and slammed toward the two of them. Long Chen was about to attack when Chu Yao held on to him this time. Green leaves appeared below Chu them, and a lotus flower bloomed around the two of them, protecting them from the sand. Boom. The hand of sand exploded on contact with the lotus. On the other hand, the blossoming lotus emitted boundless life energy. It wasn't harmed at all. The petals were crystalline. It was barely possible to see through the petals to see Long Chen and Chu Yao in a deep kiss. Bastard. Quicksand Vortex. Sha Guangyan felt like he was going crazy at being ignored like this. The sand below him seemed to come to life. It spread, and a huge vortex began to whirl, drawing everyone in a hundred miles in. Two of the corrupt experts were too close and as a result, they were sucked in. They were appalled and struggled against it. Even their heavenly Tao manifestations appeared. However, their rank 8 celestial manifestations exploded as soon as they showed up. The quicksand had some kind of energy that destroyed their heavenly Tao manifestations. We're on your side. Don't kill us, shouted the two corrupt experts. They felt like mortals who had fallen into quicksand, fighting to grasp one final straw of hope. But no matter how they struggled, it was useless. They were quickly being drawn to the center of the vortex. The closer they got to the center, the greater the pressure grew. People noticed a huge boulder that had been drawn into the quicksand suddenly explode into fragments. That was just on the outer region of the vortex. The center had to be even more terrifying. Shockingly, despite how much the two of them struggled, nothing they did had any effect. They cried to be released. But Sha Guangyan ignored them. He was glaring at the lotus. Inside the lotus, Long Chen and Chu Yao were kissing, ignoring everyone else. At that moment, they felt the rest of the world fall away. As the center of the whirlpool drew closer to the lotus, the lotus rose from the ground. A large stem appeared connecting it to the ground, and many leaves appeared as well. Seemingly supported by some kind of energy, the lotus continued to simply exist. The whirlpool was unable to do anything to it. Suddenly, one of the two corrupt experts climbed out of the quicksand. Just as everyone thought that he might escape, they realized that everything below his waist had vanished. Noo. Even after crawling out with half his body, the corrupt expert was drawn in once more. A muffled bang came from within the quicksand this time, as if an explosive had gone off within it. Then there was no more sound from that corrupt expert. As for the other expert, he didn't last more than a few seconds before being killed. What shocked everyone was that despite one of them being a soul transformation expert, his Yuan spirit didn't fly out. Clearly, 
the quicksand had also exterminated his soul. Corrupt Paths idiots only know how to brag all day. In front of the experts of my ancient family alliance, they're simply a fart. That sharp-tongued ancient family expert from before added injury to insult. Their argument had been interrupted by Long Chen before this. Now that he got the advantage, he naturally insulted them again. The corrupt experts' expressions were a bit unsightly, but they chose to keep their mouths shut. Now wasn't the time for them to quibble. The quicksand vortex spun faster and faster, and huge waves soared into the sky. They transformed into many huge sand dragons that attacked the lotus. Their sharp fangs dug into the lotus. Buzz. Ripples appeared over the lotus, and rainbow light shone. Life energy formed a multitude of barriers around the lotus. The sand dragons could only cause ripples when they smashed into the barriers. An ear-splitting rumbling came from their impact. The ancient race, corrupt path, and ancient family alliances experts all stared in shock at this sight. These sand dragons were composed of the hardest sand particles in the vortex. Their attack was incomparably fierce and they could easily rend mountains and tear the earth apart. Yet, their fierce attacks were unable to even harm the barrier of the lotus. Staring at the two figures inside the lotus, they were incomparably shocked. The two of their lips slowly parted. Chu Yao blushed slightly, making her appear even more beautiful. There are too many disturbances here. How noisy. Long Chen frowned at the sinister Sha Guangyan. These sand dragons were especially noisy. He... He really is an idiot. I wasn't even bothering with the black saber, but instead of taking it, he decided to attack us. Laughed Chu Yao as she held Long Chen's arm. Seeing you is enough for me. I don't really care about that saber. I'll bring you to see Men Chi and Wan Er. They also miss you. Long Chen smiled brightly at Chu Yao. He was completely content at this moment. It felt like as long as Chu Yao was present, nothing else was that important. Just at this moment, Golden light flew over, stabbing into the altar and breaking its light barrier. Chapter 1426 Descendant of the Golden Pen Translator Born to be the golden light shot through the air, piercing directly into the altar. The nine stone pillars emitted large ripples as it tore through the barrier. The golden light was aimed for the black saber, but just 30 meters from it, divine runes lit up on the stone pillars, and a second barrier appeared around the black saber. The second barrier blocked the golden light, not allowing it to touch the saber. Just as everyone was stunned by the sudden attack, a figure appeared in the air. When they saw that figure, the ancient race experts cheered. This newcomer was a man several feet taller than an ordinary person. He had a pair of wings, and his face looked like it had been carved with a knife. He had golden pupils, and when he blinked, golden light that penetrated people's souls flashed. His long hair danced in the wind. Ha ha ha. The ancient race's top heavenly genius has arrived. Behold Pen Wansheng. Cried out an ancient race expert. He was their representative expert on this excursion. Rumor has it that Pen Wansheng possesses the bloodline of the golden wing great Pang. Furthermore, his bloodline is extremely pure and shows signs of reverting back to an even more ancient time. Whispered one of the ancient family alliance's experts. As soon as Pen Wancheng appeared, he suppressed everyone else with his domineering display. The corrupt experts all retreated. Of the powers here, the ancient family alliance had Sha Guangyan, while the ancient races had Pen Wancheng. But the corrupt path didn't have an expert on that level present. To be safe, they had no choice but to retreat. They didn't want to be drawn into a battle between people of that level. The fate of those two unlucky fellows slain by Sha Guangyan was still fresh in their memories. Pen Wancheng's gaze was electric. He stared greedily at the black saber. He had also noticed that it was definitely a divine item. Sha Guangyan, you're also here. Pen Wancheng turned to Sha Guangyan. The two of them knew each other. But when Pen Wancheng saw Long Chen, his gaze turned cold. You're Long Chen? You can die. Golden light blossomed from Pen Wancheng's wings and he shot at Long Chen with incredible speed, leaving behind multiple after images. Leave it to me. Chu Yao was about to form a hand seal when Long Chen's hand swung out. Disregarding Pen Wansheng, his hand twisted in the air twice, shockingly avoiding his claws and striking Pen Wansheng in the face at an incomprehensible angle. Pow! 
The sound of this slap was even louder than when Sha Guangyan had been slapped. Those strange twists had ended up increasing Long Chen's wrist strength when his slap struck. The huge power behind this slap caused people to even see ripples in space. A whistling gale blew away the sand. Pen Wan Cheng smashed into one of the stone pillars. Everyone's jaws dropped as low as possible. Just what kind of situation was this? Sha Guangyan had been slapped in the face. And now Pen Wan Cheng had also been slapped in the face. Pen Wan Cheng had perfectly imitated Sha Guangyan. The angle he was struck. The stone pillar he smashed into. It was all the same. Seeing his hand still in the same slapping posture. Everyone's heart skipped a beat. Long Chen was heaven defying. He had slapped two peerless heavenly geniuses in the face. Pan Wan Chen possessed a powerful physical body, but this slap still made him feel a bit dizzy. Most importantly, this slap completely stunned him. This was his first time being slapped in the face. He had no experience in it, and it took several seconds for him to understand what had happened. You despicable human. You dare to blaspheme the noble golden pen race. Today, I'll tear about your corpse. And tomorrow, I'll eradicate the Zhuanshan Dao sect. I'll kill everyone remotely related to you. Pen Wanchen roared furiously. His golden wings spread, and a majestic aura caused heaven and earth to rumble. A powerful pressure descended, and all the celestials present scurried away in terror. There was some kind of will being released from Pen Wanchen that made them feel a chill. It seems we won't be able to avoid a battle today. Fairy Chu Yao, you can pick one of the two. Long Chen sighed. Both Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan were extremely powerful existences whose power surpassed that of rank 9 celestials. When they unleashed their auras, Long Chen could sense that the heavenly deos became one with their bodies. It wasn't the way celestials borrowed heavenly Tao energy. It was like they themselves were part of the heavenly deos. Their power was the power of the heavenly deos. This kind of power was extremely domineering. He had vaguely felt it from Zi Yan, and he had also sensed it from the pill fairy, Yu Kingsuan. At that time, he had only felt that their bodies emitted strange fluctuations that were extremely different from celestials. However, when he encountered Len Yuan, he was shocked to sense the same fluctuations from her body as well. He hadn't paid too much attention at the time. But now that Pen Wancheng's aura was also released, he finally understood that this was the peak of the Heavenly Deos. Instead of borrowing the power of the Heavenly Deos, they themselves were in control of that power. He also sensed the same kind of fluctuations from Chu Yao, so he trusted that Chu Yao was also a terrifying expert on that level. Then he had Chu Yao pick one. He hadn't reached the level of conceit where he could defeat both of them at the same time. Then I'll choose Sha Guangyan. I specialize in defense, not offense. I probably wouldn't be able to do anything to Pen Wansheng, but you should be careful. They have surpassed rank 9 celestials, so you can't be overconfident, warned Chu Yao. Don't worry, I'm quite good at fighting. Long Chen smiled. At this moment, golden runes revolved all around Pen Wansheng's body. He looked like he was made of gold, like a golden devil god. He attacked. Sha Guangyan, I want to kill this fellow before fighting over the saber with you, shouted Pen Wansheng. Despite being infuriated, he still retained some of his wits. He was worried that while he attacked Long Chen, Sha Guangyan would snatch the black saber. Don't worry, Long Chen is my enemy as well. I'll handle his woman, called out Sha Guangyan. He no longer called her fairy Chu Yao. Someone like Chu Yao who was full of spirituality and felt like a goddess of life would make people involuntarily feel good toward her. Although a person wouldn't necessarily reach the point of wanting to pursue her, they would still desire her favor. However, when Chu Yao personally stated that Long Chen was her future husband, Sha Guangyan was unable to conceal his hatred and jealousy. Furthermore, he saw that the Black Blade was protected by restrictions. Taking the saber would require a long time. He didn't want to waste his time going through all that trouble when it would put his life at risk. Even if he managed to break through the restrictions, it could still be snatched away by others. So seeing Pen Wancheng attacking Long Chen, Sha Guangyan formed hand seals and slammed his palms against the ground. The sea of sand once more surged and attacked Chu Yao. Lightning runes flashed on Long Chen's feet. 
It was like he was wearing lightning shoes. With a single step, he appeared dozens of miles away. He didn't move forward. Instead, he was moving further away. You want to run? Keep dreaming. No one has ever managed to get away from me, sneered Pen Wanshang. With a slap of his wings, he reached his peak speed. Long Chen also wasn't slow. He repeatedly dodged in the air as he sped away. With Pen Wanchen chasing, they quickly appeared in the distance. As for their original location, Chu Yao had yet to move. With the sea of sand crashing toward her, she simply formed hand seals. Wooden stakes suddenly grew out of the ground. Each wooden stake was three meters thick and thousands of meters tall. Dark golden runes revolved around them. The wooden stakes lined up and crossed, forming a huge wooden box and the sand was unable to shake the wooden stakes. Not only was the sand unable to do anything to the wooden stakes, but the wooden stakes also inhibited the movement of the sand. It became much more difficult for it to move. Losing its original agility, there was no way for the sand to form a vortex again. Only a third of the sand was free to move, and the rest of it was locked by Chu Yao's wooden stakes. This sand has your core energy inside it. Now you won't be able to take it back said Chu Yao. Sha Guangyan was a rarely seen variant earth element cultivator. He possessed an innate sand spirit body that allowed him to control sand. A portion of his sand was his core sand. It was created through his heavenly Tao energy, soul energy, and blood. That kind of core energy possessed terrifying power. It possessed the power of assimilation. When his core sand landed on the ground, it could draw out all the sand in the region and it could even break apart rocks to make more sand. His core sand was the leader of a giant sand army. As long as Sha Guangyan wanted to and had enough time, he could turn this entire world into a world of sand. That was an extremely terrifying ability. So what? I'm not even exhausting one thousandth of the core energy you're exhausting, sneered Sha Guangyan. This was a battle of attrition. Neither side was able to get any advantage over the other. The only way to win was to be more efficient with their energy. Chu Ya merely smiled. I should just tell you that the amount of energy a wood cultivator possesses is even greater than you imagine. Furthermore, this is the spirit world, and the air is filled with life energy. The energy I'm spending is being rapidly replenished. You won't be able to defeat me. Sha Guangyan's heart shook. Just at this moment, an explosive sound rang out in the sky. They had started fighting on the other side as well. Chapter 1427 Consecutive Slaps in the Face Translator Born to be Long Chen rushed away, dodging Pen Wancheng's attacks. However, Long Chen was shocked by his opponent's speed. He was truly worthy of being a descendant of the Golden Peng. His speed was incomparably fast. The movement art Long Chen was using was one of the lightning techniques he had seen the lightning expert in the ancient battlefield use. Lai Long had comprehended it and taught it to him. His speed was now much greater than before, but he still couldn't compare to Pen Wanshang. Although Long Chen's speed was one level lower than Pen Wanshang's, he was much nimbler and that allowed him to dodge Pen Wanshang's attacks. Due to his own high speed, Pen Wancheng wasn't able to control the change of pace perfectly. Cowardly human, as soon as you run into experts, you can only flee like a rabbit, sneered Pen Wanshang. Long Chen ignored him, and only once he was far enough did he finally stop. Pen Wancheng was rushing straight toward him, so Long Chen turned around, dodging Pen Wancheng's claw and slapping him in the face. Pow! His slap came without any warning and didn't contain any killing intent. His movements flowed naturally, and Pen Wancheng was once more struck. It's been a while since I've done this. My hand feels a bit out of practice, and it's not as clean as before. This is why I have to keep training. Once you reach such a high level, you have to keep training every day. Missing a day takes 10 days to make up for. Long Chen looked at his own hand and sighed emotionally. He had truly regressed. Before, when he encountered people in the same realm, he didn't have to prepare at all to slap them. If he raised his hand, it was inevitable that they would be slapped. No one could dodge. However, now he couldn't. He needed to prepare a foundation for his slap before he used it. That made him sigh. Heavens, am I dreaming? The ancient race experts weren't paying that much attention to Chu Yao and Sha Guangyan's fight. They were focused on Long Chen and Pen Wanshang. 
Just before this, they had seen Pen Wanchen mightily chasing down Long Chen, while Long Chen could only dodge. But in an instant, Pen Wanchen was struck by his slap. The sound was so loud that even thousands of miles away, they heard it clearly. It was absolutely resounding. It felt like two people had been playing tag. Then the person running suddenly said he didn't want to play anymore, slapped the chaser in the face, and told him to scram. This was completely different from the grand battle they had expected. They were unable to accept this. Pen Wanchen was one of the ancient race's top experts, someone above the level of a rank 9 celestial. Yet, he had been slapped in the face consecutively. Had the world gone insane? You're lucky, or the person being slapped would be you, said Chu Yao to Sha Guangyan. Bullshit. Long Chen's trash, human waste, and scum. He'll definitely be killed today. You should. Sha Guangyan suddenly burst into loud curses, making everyone jump in shock. They didn't know why Sha Guangyan would explode in fury. Chu Yao smiled faintly. Having reunited with Long Chen, very few things could make her angry now. Only scum would use scummy moves. Chu Yao shook her head. At that moment, a spear appeared and shot at her from behind. It happened so suddenly that it caught everyone off guard. The spear pierced Chu Yao's body, but there was no blood. Chu Yao slowly faded, and the spear dissolved into sand. Suddenly, a shadow covered the earth as countless vines soared into the sky. Thorn Prison Thorny vines covered heaven and earth, binding around Sha Guangyan. A sharp light came from the thorns, giving others chills. It felt like just looking at those thorns was giving them pain. Upon seeing the thorny vines binding Sha Guangyan, all their hearts shook. Being caught in these vines was a form of torture. Sand armor. Boom. The vines exploded, and Sha Guangyan flew out. However, as he flew out, people saw his armor covered in holes. Blood slowly dripped out of those holes. Heavens, how sharp are those thorns? Sha Guangyan's sand armor is comparable to an ancestral item, cried out an ancient family expert familiar with Sha Guangyan. Their battle looked very calm. There weren't huge explosions that changed the color of heaven and earth. But during this calm battle, life or death could be determined in an instant. Sha Guangyan's gaze was grave as he charged out of the thorns, his body covered in blood. Just now, he had cursed so loudly to draw Chu Yao's attention and then sneak attack her. But this little plot of his had been easily read by Chu Yao. She had long since been prepared, and just as he thought he had succeeded, she launched a counterattack that forced him into this bloodied state. He had underestimated Chu Yao, or perhaps it should be said that he had underestimated her attack power. Normal wood cultivators were simply healers and weren't skilled in offense. Even wood cultivators that cultivated to fight were still specialized in defense. Their attack power wasn't very high, but Chu Yao's attack power was terrifying. Your wood energy contains some metal energy. You actually managed to merge two conflicting elements. I suppose I underestimated you, said Sha Guangyan icily. Since that's the case, I'll get serious. Sand began to fall from Sha Guangyan's body. More and more of it fell until his feet and legs also began to turn to sand and flow away, shocking everyone. Don't worry, I won't kill you. I'll let you see your so-called husband be killed first. Sha Guangyan's waist and chest turned to sand. With a sinister smile, his face also disintegrated and flowed into the earth. Boom. The ground shook intensely, and the wooden stakes that were binding the sea of sand exploded to bits. Chu Yao was shocked and hastily fell back. Sand arrows shot out after her. A hail of sand crashed down from the sky. These sand arrows were several meters long and incredibly sharp. They whistled through the air, and there were so many of them that it was impossible to dodge them all. Heavens, is this the power of a sand spirit body? He can actually transform into sand. The entire sea of sand is his body, cried a rank 9 celestial. Even the rank 9 celestials were incomparably shocked. An expert on Sha Guangyan's level had surpassed the domain of celestials. He was another kind of existence. Red and violet dances. An endless sea of flowers fills the sky. Chu Yao formed hand seals and began to chant. Flower petals appeared in the air and covered her. Their fragrance even reached the spectators. Chu Yao began to lightly spin, her long hair waving. As she spun, more and more flower petals appeared. 
descending from the sky. From a distance, the spectators felt that they were watching a goddess dance noveloon.com The flower petals rippled with white divine light. An immortal mist seeped out of them, making them glisten and shine. When those sand arrows struck the flower petals, the flower petals exploded, and the immortal mist would spread. The sand arrows that flew through the immortal mist lost their cohesiveness and fell apart. Endless sand, endless flower petals. The golden sand sea and white flower sea crashed against each other. The flower petals began to dance lightly and gracefully. Chu Yao was like an elf from an ancient forest that didn't possess the slightest murderous aura. She was like a heavenly goddess who wasn't tainted by the slightest dust of the mortal world. She was beautiful and untouchable. The ancient races, ancient family alliance, and corrupt paths experts were all drawn in by Chu Yao's image. They even forgot she was an enemy. They had never seen such a beautiful fight, and they were struck dumb for a moment. The sand arrows grew more concentrated, while the flower petals spread, growing in number. Her dance also grew quicker. Boom. The sea of petals and sea of sand exploded. The sea of sand transformed into many furious dragons, while the flower petals transformed into beautiful swans. When they spread their wings, ripples struck the dragons. Explosive sounds rang out once again. Although the sand dragons were fierce and sinister, the swans were strong as well. When the two collided, the swans would shatter into petals that would continue the fight, while the sand dragons would be unable to bear the power of the swans, and they would explode, their particles falling to the ground. In the air, the sea of petals was dominating, while down below was the sea of sand. Sand dragons were flying out and swans were dancing. This was a battle scene that no one had ever witnessed before. Despite being incredibly fierce, the sight of the dancing flower petals relaxed their hearts. But all the experts watching knew that this was a battle of attrition. Both the sea of sand and the sea of petals required energy to maintain. The two of them were even right now, with neither being able to suppress the other. That meant that in the end, the winner would go to whoever's spiritual yuan lasted longer. When they saw that, they were shocked. Especially the ancient family experts. They all knew that when it came to a battle of attrition, no one could defeat a wood cultivator. If nothing else happened, then based on this common knowledge, the scales of this battle would eventually tilt toward Chu Yao. Buzz. Just at this moment, fluctuations spread from the distance that caused their hearts to palpitate. Chapter 1428 Empyrean Translator Born to be Pen Wancheng's face had turned purple after being slapped by Long Chen. That wasn't a bruise. It was the result of fury. Long Chen's slap might be powerful, but it didn't contain any killing intent. It didn't invoke a sense of danger. This was Pen Wancheng's first time encountering such an opponent. People who don't fight seriously are all depraved trash. Cursed Pen Wancheng. He felt like he was about to go insane. After being slapped twice in the face, even if he did kill Long Chen, this would be a stain for the rest of his life. He was a peerless expert and he quickly realized the trick behind Long Chen's move. But even though he knew the trick, he couldn't do anything about it. When experts fought, they would fight with the intent to kill. Each attack was launched with killing intent. However, Long Chen's slap was purely to humiliate his opponents. It couldn't be sensed. But the taste of being slapped was horrendous. It was even more painful than having an arm or leg cut off. Compared to the pain of the body, this mental humiliation was far more painful. Despite being on the verge of exploding, Pen Wancheng had to force himself to stay calm. He now had a thought that he couldn't kill Long Chen. He needed to capture him alive and make him live a life worse than death. Pen Wancheng glared at Long Chen, his chest heaving as he did his best to suppress his rage. Despicable human, can you not fight like a real warrior? roared Pen Wancheng. If Long Chen continued dodging, Pen Wanchen would be unable to do anything to him. Long Chen's speed was also extremely great, but more importantly, his aura was very strange. Pen Wanchen found himself unable to quickly lock him down. Aren't you the one cursing your ancestors? Don't you think that's improper? sneered Long Chen. The ancient races continuously mocked the human race, but without the human race, where would the half breeds known as the ancient races have come from? I drew you over here because I don't want to be disturbed by others. It's not because I'm afraid of you. Then you can just die. 
roared Pen Wanshang. His wings flapped once again, and with the golden runes revolving around them, he appeared in front of Long Chen in an instant, sending a punch at him. You're not capable of killing me, Long Chen smirked. He also let out a punch, his 108,000 stars revolving. Boom. This was a pure collision of physical strength. Both sides were blown back several miles. I heard your physical body was powerful and unrivaled amongst the human race. HMPH. Now that I'm experiencing it, I'm disappointed. It's a far cry from the power of the ancient races, sneered Pen Wanshang. That's different. There's no way to compare to half-breeds like you, mocked Long Chen. Die. Pen Wanshen once more attacked, and a huge ball of light appeared behind him. The ball of light was a mass of primal chaos. It was impossible to see anything within. When that ball appeared, Long Chen felt some kind of energy suddenly suppress him, making him feel weak. A manifestation Long Chen was shocked. Just what was that indistinct ball? Why did he suddenly feel weaker when it appeared? Boom. This time, he was sent flying by Pen Wancheng's punch, and he coughed up blood. It felt like his punch contained some kind of hidden power. This was a kind of power that Long Chen couldn't comprehend, and it was in the process of breaking his body down at this very moment. Ha ha ha. Didn't I say that you are but a piece of trash in front of me? Your power is like that of an ant's. Laughed Pen Wancheng. The mass of primal chaos behind him revolved. It was filled with thick mist. It felt like there was something there, but it was completely concealed by the mist. Are you surprised? Did you think you were unrivaled just because you defeated a rank 9 celestial? Let me tell you, rank 9 celestials are not the peak geniuses of this world. There is another kind of existence born from the heavenly deos and destined for greatness, an embodiment of the heavens that stands at the peak of the martial path. They are above all other geniuses. I heard that you started from a poor background, correct? I suppose you've heard of favored. They are existences even inferior to celestials. Favored are the ants who disseminate the laws of the heavens. They are the most foundational existence in the cultivation world. Outnumbering celestials over a million to one, they are born to spread the word of the heavens. But while they are the foundation, they are not the main characters. Above favored are celestials, emissaries of the heavenly deos. They are the servants of the heavenly deos. Although the heavenly deos give them some benefits, they are still just servants. Celestials are ranked 1 to 9, and even the highest, rank 9 celestials, are at most higher level servants. To put it in an uglier way, servants are just slaves. They have to listen to their master for everything. This world's real main characters are us, Empyreans. When Pen Wancheng said the word Empyrean, the world shuddered as if resonating with his words. Long Chen coldly stared at Pen Wancheng, not saying anything. He calmly listened to his bragging. He wanted to know exactly why he was bragging. Seeing Long Chen not say a word, Pen Wanchen continued, Do you see? I am someone who represents the heavenly deos. I myself am in control of the power of the heavenly deos. Unlike celestials, I don't need to borrow their power. If the heavens are the king, then favored are the poor commoners. Celestials are the civil and military officials, while Empyreans are the crown prince. We are the main characters of this world. As for you, you're not even a commoner. You're at most trash with dog shit luck. Today, your glory comes to an end. After a moment of staring at Pen Wancheng who was looking at him like a king looking at a commoner, Long Chen said, Looks like you've done bragging. I just have two points to mention. First, if Empyrean is the crown prince, don't you think there are too many crown princes? Just here, there are already three. Who's really the crown prince in line to inherit the throne? Second, if I'm not interested in being the crown prince, how can I become the emperor foolish trash? You'll pay a painful price for your disrespect. Pen Wanchen was irritated that Long Chen hadn't even batted an eye after he said so much. His goal had been to shock Long Chen, but Pen Wanchen had just wasted his saliva. Long Chen was like a duck who heard lightning. It was like he didn't even understand what he said. He once more sent out a punch. Hey, wait a moment, cried out Long Chen suddenly. Seeing Long Chen not even move to block, Pen Wanchen jumped in shock. If Long Chen didn't try to block, this punch would blow him apart. There would be no way to capture him alive. 
Pen Wanchen hastily held back his fist, but his power wasn't so easy to hold back. As a result, he continued flying toward Long Chen. Pow! Long Chen slapped him across the face. This time, Long Chen had been storing up power for a long time, and Pen Wanchen flew for a hundred miles. Nice. We have good teamwork, praised Long Chen giving. Pen Wanchen a thumbs up. Long Chen, I'll tear you to pieces. Pen Wanchen's eyes were scarlet and his face was twisted. With a sinister wail, he charged at Long Chen. The reason Pen Wanchen had been played this time and slapped again was because Long Chen had seen through his goal of capturing him alive. Now Pen Wanchen was completely crazy, and he didn't even want to capture Long Chen alive anymore. The primal chaos behind Pen Wanchen revolved. Golden runes circulated around his body as his aura soared. He had entered a berserk state. He didn't hold back at all with his punch. The void crumbled wherever it passed, as if the very world would be destroyed by this punch. Everyone was shocked by Pen Wanchen's punch. Even thousands of miles away, they could feel Pen Wanchen's power. It was like this punch had also enveloped them, making it hard for them to breathe. Although the battle between Chu Yao and Sha Guangyan was nice to look at, it wasn't intense enough. Meanwhile, Pen Wanchen's berserk punch was an attack that looked like it could destroy the world. So everyone looked over. Long Chen's definitely dead. He can't receive this punch, said an ancient race expert. In truth, everyone thought the same thing, including the rank 9 celestials. Although Long Chen had fought and defeated rank 9 celestials, his combat power was just a bit higher than rank 9 celestials. As for Pen Wanchen's punch, all the rank 9 celestials felt that they would die without any suspense if they were in Long Chen's position right now. Even Chu Yao was a bit afraid for Long Chen. She knew what being an Empyrean signified. However, she still chose to trust Long Chen. She trusted that figure. In her memories, that figure had never fallen. He was an undefeatable battle god. Divine Ring. Five Star Battle Armor. Green Dragon Battle Armor. All of you get out here. A pillar of chi soared out of Long Chen. The suppression of Pen Wanchen's manifestation was instantly broken. In front of the Divine Ring, all suppressions were forced to break. 108,000 green scales covered Long Chen's body, and an image of a star appeared on each one. Endless energy poured throughout his body. With a thunderous roar, Long Chen smashed a fist at Pen Wanchen. Chapter 1429 The situation rapidly changes. Translator Born to be boom noveloon.com terrifying astral's winds exploded. Space crumbled and spread a mass of ripples that spread in every direction, rumbling like divine thunder. He, he blocked it. Everyone looked up at the sky in shock. There, Long Chen and Pen Wanchen's fists were repeatedly clashing. The mass of primal chaos behind Pen Wanchen surged, and Long Chen's divine ring spun. Heavens, what terrifying power! People stared at them in shock as their power increased. Space was twisting around them, devouring them. Boom. Finally, the sphere of broken space exploded. Long Chen and Pen Wanchen were blown back, both coughing up blood. At the same time, a huge ripple spread. A huge wave of earth rose with the ripple, surging towards the distant spectators. Those experts hastily blocked. But even so, some of the weaker ones vomited blood, their bones broken. Even at this distance, even when they're fighting up in the air, they're managing to reach us. The spectators were no longer bothering with Chu Yao and Sha Guangyan's fight. They were locked on the two figures fighting in the distant sky. So this is the level of a crown prince? It's not much stronger than an ant, mocked Long Chen. Now he was confident in fighting. His divine ring wouldn't be suppressed by any manifestation. Although his divine ring didn't have a suppressive effect on others. It also wouldn't allow other people's manifestations to suppress him. That was enough. As long as he wasn't suppressed by some unknown power, he wasn't afraid at all. You do have some power, but it's just a bit. It's not enough to challenge the noble ancient races. Die, roared Pen Wanshang. Golden runes appeared behind him, shooting towards Long Chen like a rain of arrows. Each one of those golden runes was actually a golden feather. They were Pen Wanchen's core true feathers. This was one of the golden wing great Peng's divine abilities. Each one of the golden Peng's feathers was a supreme treasure, and a powerful killing tool. If trash like you hasn't died, 
Why would I die? Thunder Force appeared in Long Chen's hands, and when he clapped his hands together, a lightning blade appeared in his hands. He slashed it out. Boom. The golden feathers were blown away. But Long Chen was surprised to find that this lightning blade he had condensed with a secret art from the immortal era was unable to destroy the feathers. This lightning blade's power was comparable to an ancestral item. 10,000 feathers pierced the heart. Pen Wan Cheng smiled sinisterly. The feathers that Long Chen had blown away seemed to come alive, turning around to attack Long Chen from every direction. Long Chen repeatedly slashed out his lightning blade, but the golden feathers were extremely nimble. Several of them slipped past his defense and struck his body. The feathers were incomparably sharp, and not even his dragon scales could block them. Several bloody holes appeared in his body. These feathers are my core true feathers. They accompanied me and grew with me ever since I was born. Their toughness is comparable to ancestral items. Now let me see how you run. Pen Wan Cheng smiled, and golden light revolved around him. More and more golden feathers shot at Long Chen. Run? Why would I run? Do you think a few chicken feathers can block me? Don't make me laugh. Although Long Chen's dragon scales were pierced by these feathers, the injuries they caused weren't particularly heavy. The feathers possessed heavenly Tao energy, but his divine ring wiped away that energy, not allowing it to destroy his body. Raging flames incinerate the heavens. Golden flames filled the air. Long Chen had summoned the heaven incinerating flame. Today, I'll burn your damn bird feathers, bastard. This is the heaven incinerating flame. Pen Wan Chen was shocked, and hastily called back his feathers. It went without saying that the golden pen race's core divine ability was powerful. Even the heaven incinerating flame didn't manage to destroy his feathers. But his golden feathers had dimmed a great deal. Many places were shared and emitted a smell like roasted bird. Pen Wan Chen was infuriated, as well as shocked. He had no idea how Long Chen could possess the heaven incinerating flame. If his true feathers had been on his body, they would have managed to endure. But having flown out, while their offensive power was great, their defensive power dropped. If he hadn't recalled them fast enough, his feathers' essence would have been damaged. But even though he had acted quickly, his originally splendid golden wings now looked charred and ugly. Long Chen gulped heavily, his eyes shining. I've decided. Today, I'm eating roast wings. This was Long Chen's first time feeling such an intense desire for food. That particular smell was just that enticing. Roast wings. The faces of the distant spectators twitched. Long Chen really was trying to defy the heavens. He wanted to eat Pen Wan Cheng's wings. Those who blaspheme the ancient races are all exterminated down to the ninth bloodline. Pen Wan Cheng roared furiously, and once more shot towards Long Chen. The primal chaos behind him spread to cover him. Long Chen pointed his fingers. Ten lightning swords shot out of his fingertips and at Pen Wan Cheng. Pen Wan Cheng was caught off guard. For the first time, Long Chen wasn't facing him in a direct clash of power. Now he was suddenly using a magical art to attack him at long range. He hastily rolled to the side, but he was still too slow. One of the lightning swords pierced his shoulder, ripping a hole in his tough body. Impossible. Peng Wancheng is the descendant of the Golden Peng. His physical body is completely off the charts. How could he be pierced with one attack? Although Peng Wancheng was from the ancient races, his blood had gone through an ancestral regression, making his physical body on the level of a Xuan beast. Rumor was that the Xuan beasts essentially had unbreakable bodies. But despite that, Long Chen's lightning sword pierced him so easily. He controls the heaven incinerating flame, as well as that powerful lightning. Long Chen is absolutely terrifying, muttered someone quietly horrified. None of these experts had thought Long Chen possessed such trump cards. Each one of them was more terrifying than the last. Up to now, Pen Wan Chen hadn't managed to get any advantage over Long Chen. The two of them once more crashed together, shaking the sky. Long Chen held a lightning blade, and when he slashed it down, it suddenly grew, filling the sky with blinding light. Pen Wan Sheng, who had been fighting barehanded this entire time, now took out a golden spear. The spear was ancient and heavy. Its aura was anything but ordinary. It was a powerful ancestral item. Boom. The lightning exploded. It was like a giant firework had gone off. The sky was immersed in a sea of lightning. 
Long Chen unleashed more and more lightning each time he slashed his lightning blade. As for Pen Wanshang, his spear danced in the air. They fought intensely. Boom. Long Chen slashed his lightning blade. But this time, Pen Wanshang's spear flickered with golden light. And when it collided with the lightning blade, an even more intense light shot out of it, shooting for the distant altar. What? He? He's borrowing Long Chen's power to break the altar's defense, cried out someone. Bang! This attack containing both Long Chen and Pen Wanchen's power smashed into the altar's barrier. The nine huge stone pillars shattered, and the black saber was visible once more. HMPH! I'll take that saber first and then kill you. Pen Wanchen became enveloped with golden light, and suddenly vanished. He reappeared right beside the black saber, grabbing it. Pen Wanchen! What do you think you're doing? roared Sha Guangyan. A giant sand hand smashed towards Pen Wanshang. What am I doing? Do you think I'm an idiot? You're intentionally stalling with her to wait for me to exhaust myself against Long Chen. In the end, won't you be the last one laughing? Since that's the case, I think I'll take the treasure first. Haha, <laughs> laughed Pen Wanshang. One hand broke the sand hand, while another hand grabbed the hilt of the black saber. At this time, Long Chen returned to stand next to Chu Yao. Chu Yao had a worried expression, but Long Chen smiled, expressing that she shouldn't worry. Pen Wan Chen's sudden move was out of everyone's expectations, including Long Chen. He had actually borrowed Long Chen's power to break the barrier. Long Chen hadn't expected the seemingly idiotic Pen Wan Chen to have some smarts. He had actually realized that his thunder force was strange and used it to attack the barrier. However, Long Chen felt that this situation wasn't so simple. This place was a huge battlefield. There had to be a reason this sinister black saber was sealed here. Long Chen didn't think it would be easy to obtain it. That was why Chu Yao was a bit worried. But Long Chen wasn't at all panicked. He wanted to see if Pen Wan Chen really could take the saber. His guess quickly became reality. Pen Wan Chen's expression changed as he suddenly coughed up a huge mouthful of blood and fell back. What everyone was shocked. Pen Wan Chen had actually been forced off the black saber. But Long Chen saw a touch of shock in Pen Wan Chen's eyes that was quickly suppressed. Long Chen looked at the blood he had spat out. He narrowed his eyes, but he didn't say anything. As Sha Guangyan had already reached the black saber as well. Chapter 1430 Evil Moon Translator Born to be Brother Pang, it seems you have no destiny with this blade. It's fated to be mine. Sha Guangyan laughed and grasped the hilt. But Long Chen saw that Sha Guangyan was crafty. His hand was covered in a faint layer of sand that protected him. He had clearly learned from Pen Wan Cheng's mistake. Not only did he keep a barrier between him and his body, he even created a spiritual defense. Long Chen, what should we do? asked Chu Ya spiritually. We don't need to do anything. I don't think anyone's going to walk away with that saber Long Chen replied directly. After the formation had broken, he had carefully examined the black saber. His intuition told him it wasn't something that he could use. They had probably fought for nothing. Pen Wan Chen didn't say anything as Sha Guangyan grabbed the saber. He simply stared. The distant experts were also looking at him. They didn't dare to get close though. One reason was to avoid causing a misunderstanding and thinking that they were going to fight over it. Another reason was fear. Fear that the four of them would once more start fighting and draw them in. When Pen Wan Chen had suddenly switched from fighting Long Chen to snatching the saber, he had shocked everyone. But then when they thought about it, they felt that Pen Wan Chen was quite amazing. He really had almost obtained it. Now all their attention was focused on Sha Guangyan. Sha Guangyan couldn't help being nervous when he saw Pen Wan Cheng's expression, but having reached this point, he couldn't retreat. However, instead of using his sand-covered hand, a large sand hand appeared behind him, and he used it to grab the saber. Get out! Sha Guangyan pulled hard, but he kept a close watch on Long Chen and the others to make sure they couldn't sneak attack him. However, he had overthought it. Pen Wan Cheng didn't move. Long Chen didn't move. Chu Yao didn't move. No one moved. The only one doing anything was him. Suddenly, Sha Guangyan's expression changed. He was filled with shock, and his body suddenly shook. He coughed up a mouthful of blood and flew back. 
Both Peng Wancheng and Sha Guangyan failed. Everyone couldn't help being shocked. These two were the strongest existences present. Even life star experts weren't able to defeat them. But the two of them had still failed. The most shocking thing was that despite not even touching the saber, Sha Guangyan still coughed up blood. It seems we have no destiny with this saber. You can try it, sighed Sha Guangyan, glancing at Long Chen and Chu Yao. If you have no destiny with it, we probably have no destiny with it either. We'll leave it to others. Chu Yao, it's been too long since we parted. Let's find a comfortable place to chat. Long Chen pulled away Chu Yao. Once they were a few hundred meters away, Chu Yao waved a hand, and two wooden stakes grew out of the ground. A long vine then grew out, forming a swing for the two of them to sit on. They began to laugh and talk, ignoring what was happening here. Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan's expression sank ever so slightly upon seeing them leave. Sha Guangyan turned to everyone else. This blade's name is Evil Moon. It is a priceless treasure of ancient times. But its conditions for selecting a master are very stringent. The two of us have no destiny with it. If you want to try its test, go ahead. Everyone was moved by this. However, the corrupt experts were still intimidated. What would happen if Evil Moon recognized one of them as its master? Wouldn't they simply die? With Sha Guangyan, Peng Wansheng, Long Chen, and Chu Yao present, how could they possibly escape? On the other hand, the ancient race and ancient family alliance experts didn't need to have so many misjivings. They all went up to test it, but none of them were able to move the black saber. Instead, they all coughed up blood. Long Chen, what is it? Chu Yao was looking at what was happening there, but Long Chen was looking all around. I thought someone else would appear here, but she didn't. It's strange, said Long Chen. He was very curious where Len Yuian had gone. According to reason, she should have come to this place, but he didn't see the slightest sign of her. Who? asked Chu Yao. Len Yuian, the devil empress Len Yuian, cried a shocked Chu Yao. You know her? asked Long Chen, surprised. How could I not? She's known as the Corrupt Path's number one killing god, a grim reaper who is somehow as beautiful as possible. Rumor is that after she kills people in the Corrupt Path, she keeps their heads and uses them to build her own palace. Her throne is made entirely of bones, and only the skulls of geniuses. The weak aren't even qualified to be amused after she kills them, said Chu Yao. She has such a hobby? I didn't know she was into construction. Don't joke. I'm being completely serious. My master told me that in the spirit world, Len Yuian is the only person I had to avoid at all costs, said Chu Yao. She's that terrifying I'm also very curious, but when I asked my master about it, she refused to answer. She just said I definitely couldn't provoke her, sighed Chu Yao. Her master was the master of the Skywood Divine Palace. She definitely had realized something, but simply refused to tell her. Ah, speaking of which, why did you come here at all? Isn't it very dangerous? asked Long Chen. I snuck my way over. I wanted to find this place's divine life elixir, but only once I was here did I realize that the divine life elixir is created through refining people. I killed some corrupt experts and saw the spirit world's women inside their life stones. I couldn't refine them into elixir, so I let them go. Then I heard about this sovereign's battlefield. So I came to test my luck, said Chu Yao sadly. Why do you need such a thing? Can't you make it yourself? Long Chen was puzzled. As a wood cultivator, how could Chu Yao possibly need divine life elixir? The divine life elixir I'm talking about is the most primeval divine life elixir. It's the kind that can restore a person's longevity. Chu Yao's eyes reddened. Long Chen instantly understood. Chu Yao had come for her master. Her master had sacrificed her own longevity for her, transforming from a beauty into an old crone. She had sacrificed far too much for Chu Yao. Just from her red eyes that were on the border of crying, it could be seen how much guilt Chu Yao felt towards her master. Don't worry, I can help you get that divine life elixir. It's not a problem, said Long Chen, holding Chu Yao's hand. He didn't know what exactly that divine life elixir she was talking about was but he knew that the life god tree was definitely capable of making it. Considering his connection with the forest of life, this was definitely a minor matter. 
Really? Long Chen, can you really do this? Chu Yao cried out excitedly, causing some of the people in the distance to glance their way. Right now, they were testing their destiny with the Black Saber, but so far, no one had succeeded. Of course I can do this. It's definitely no problem. Long Chen told her about his connection with the Forest of Life. When she learned of it, Chu Yao was delighted. That's great. Then on my way back, I'll go to the Dark Forest and see if I can capture a powerful tree demon to be a fighting housepit for me. That way my combat power will rise again. Chu Yao's mood instantly improved. She told him that after advancing to the Jade Core Realm, she had opened a life space that could store a powerful houseboat. However, it needed to be vegetation. She was planning on capturing an 11th rank tree demon from the dark forest to make up for her lacking offense. However, her main target had still been the divine life elixir, so she hadn't been in the mood to go looking for one. Another person coughed up a mouthful of blood. Over a thousand elite experts here had failed. These people were all at least rank 7 celestials and there were even two life star experts. Long Chen, this situation is strange, said Chu Ya spiritually. Of course it's strange. For that birdman to borrow my power to break the barrier was too sudden. According to reason, after I slapped him in the face three times, he should have pretty much lost all his wits in his fury. He definitely wouldn't be so cool-headed to do such a thing. And although his words seem logical, there are way too many holes. This is a trap. Transmitted Long Chen back. A trap. Yes, it's definitely a trap. Have you noticed that when these people cough up blood, it always lands on the platform below the saber? The blood they're coughing out contains a large amount of their essence blood. Most importantly, it contains the slightest trace of their purest essence blood from the space between their eyebrows. They themselves aren't even aware of that. Perhaps Pen Wancheng and Sha Guanggayan were aware of something but they had chosen to keep their mouths shut. When it came to power, Long Chen had to admit that the two of them were very strong. But when it came to intelligence well, there was no need to say it. This was such an obvious trap that it could only trick children. But the two of them were actually conning their own people with it. That made it hard for Long Chen to understand what they were planning. Are we supposed to just keep watching? Asked Chu Yao. Yes, let's just keep watching. In any case, we don't have to be afraid of them. Let's just see what plot they're hatching. I doubt things are as simple as they appear, said Long Chen. This matter was riddled in oddities. The holes in their narrative were clear, and it shouldn't be just the two of them that noticed them. However, over a thousand experts were acting like they didn't notice anything and were going up to test the saber one by one. Each one of them coughed up blood, and their disappointed expressions didn't seem to be fake. In the end, the final corrupt expert coughed up blood. Suddenly, the black saber began to rumble. The ground shook violently, and cracks appeared in the sky. Divine chains appeared in the air, tightly binding the black saber. Ha ha ha. I, Evil Moon, have been sealed for so many years. Now it's finally time for me to break free. A thunderous row rang out, shaking the cosmos. A murderous aura filled the entire world. In that instant, it felt like all of them had fallen to hell. Chapter 1431 One drop of sovereign blood suppresses Evil Moon Translator. Born to be Long Chen hastily pulled Chu Yao away. The others were also shocked and ran. Rumble. The ground exploded. And a terrifying pressure crashed down. It was like a fiend from hell had broken out of its seal. A murderous aura filled the world. That weapon's completely evil. Chu Yao cried out in shock. At first. All that she had been able to sense from the Black Saber was that it was domineering and possessed great killing intent. All divine weapons would be infected with some grievance after killing countless experts. That was normal. However, this resentment had practically solidified, and its killing intent looked as if it could shatter heaven and earth. This was not the result of the resentment spirits of those slain by the weapon. This was something that came from the very essence of the Saber. Long Chen also hadn't expected this black saber to be such a shocking evil weapon. Even he felt alarmed in the face of its murderous aura. This evil weapon had to have slaughtered a ridiculous number of powerful experts. Just its killing intent felt like it could kill everyone here. The ground exploded and ripples spread. It slowly floated out of the platform. As it rose, 
the pressure grew greater. A black barrier appeared over this space, and the sun vanished. The world became dark and filled with an air of death. All the experts' expressions changed, but only the corrupt experts became fanatical. This saber is a gift bestowed to us by the corrupt god. The corrupt path is about to rise. Some of the corrupt experts directly knelt on the ground and kowtowed. The sinister aura released by the black saber was definitely perfect for the corrupt path. These corrupt experts knelt toward it like it was their god. Long Chen, should we go? This aura is very uncomfortable for me, said Chu Yao. She was slightly pale. As a wood cultivator, she cultivated the life Tao and was very sensitive to this murderous aura. Endure it for now. The conclusion will come quickly. Long Chen held Chu Yao's hand and placed himself in front of her, helping her block the head on aura. When Long Chen stood in front of her, protecting her, it brought back memories. This was the same back she had seen before. Back in the Phoenix Cry Empire, Long Chen had stood in front of her like this as well to block the wind and rain. Back then, he had said that he would stand in front of her for a lifetime. Although the two of them had been young and so many years had passed, their promise toward each other had been firmly recorded in their hearts. Even if the stars were to change orbits, their hearts wouldn't change. Chu Yao unconsciously held Long Chen's waist, pressing her face against his solid back hearing his powerful heartbeat. In that instant, she felt completely content. She even forgot about that terrifying aura. Laying against Long Chen, her expression was completely peaceful. Long Chen was completely focused on the black saber and didn't notice the change in Chu Yao's mood. At this time, the saber finally escaped the stone platform. When the saber was fully revealed, a terrifying ripple spread blowing apart the surrounding mountains and unleashing a storm of sand and dust. Ha ha ha, I finally escaped. Yun Shang, you damn human sovereign. In the end, you're dead, but I'm still living. I'm the real winner. A voice came from the Black Saber. Yun Shang, the first generation sovereign after the Battle of the Immortal Era cried Chu Yao in shock. Long Chen was startled. He had only ever heard of sovereigns. He didn't know any of their names or how many generations of them there had been. Seeing his confusion, Chu Yao transmitted spiritually to Long Chen. After the battle of the immortal era, no more gods and immortals appeared. Sovereigns stood at the peak of this world and were the closest existences to gods and immortals. Each sovereign led their era, and they were unequaled. The strongest experts of this world. The world only allows one sovereign to exist at any time and it is only after one era ends that the next sovereign can rise. In all of history, a total of five sovereigns appeared. After the final sovereign appeared, it has been tens of thousands of years without a new sovereign. My master said it's likely the martial heaven continent no longer has enough karmic luck to give birth to another sovereign. As for the Yun Shang the saber just mentioned, he's the first peerless expert of the martial heaven continent. Sovereign Yun Shang she then added, It's strange. If it's been sealed the entire time, how does it know Sovereign Yun Shang is gone? Naturally someone must have told it. Long Chen pointed at the distant Peng Wancheng and Sha Guangyan. Senior, you promised me that as long as I helped you escape, you would become the protective divine item of the Golden Pen race. Now I'd like to ask you to kill those two people. Peng Wancheng suddenly opened his mouth, pointing at Long Chen and Chu Yao. Chu Yao's expression changed and she was just about to form a hand seal when Long Chen comforted her. Don't worry, we can just keep on watching. Little brat, you think you can order me around? The black saber suddenly let out a cry. Pen Wan Chen vomited a mouthful of blood, flames raging in his eyes. He had clearly been tricked. A cold smile appeared on Long Chen's face, although he didn't know exactly what was happening. Just looking at Peng Wancheng's ugly expression told Long Chen that the Black Saber had scammed Peng Wancheng. That idiot had trusted the Black Saber and arranged for everyone to offer up their essence blood to undo its seal. However, having been released, the Black Saber seemed to have forgotten about all of that. It completely ignored Peng Wancheng. Buzz. The inscriptions on the Black Saber began to shine. And now Long Chen finally got a look at its complete form. It was a long saber. Longer than he was tall, there was an image of two dragons on the blade. The dragons looked like they were alive, and their appearance was similar to a true dragon. 
A powerful dragon might come from it. This saber is related to true dragons. Long Chen's heart shook. At this moment, the black saber suddenly pointed at him and said, Little fellow, you possess true dragon essence blood? Good. I didn't expect to have such a delicious feast on the same day I break out of my seal. That voice was fiendish and sinister, invoking an image of a demon sticking out its snake-like tongue and licking its own fangs. Everyone stared at Long Chen, smiling at his misfortune. They all knew he was doomed. Chu Yao also tensed. That black saber was too terrifying. It was an existence that had fought on the same battlefield as a sovereign. It definitely had enough power to kill Long Chen with just a thought. Are you an idiot? You want to come at me? Fine. Come. Come and show me how you eat this feast. Be careful of breaking your teeth, said Long Chen disdainfully. Everyone jumped in fright. Had Long Chen gone mad? Arrogant brat. Die. Black Chi burst out of the saber, and it shot at Long Chen. But suddenly, the saber came to a sudden stop. It continued to quiver in the air. Bastard. How? How is this possible? roared the saber. At some unknown point in time, a single red dot had appeared above the saber. It was a drop of blood. It looked scarlet at first, but careful examination revealed rainbow light flowing within it. Although it was just a single drop of blood, as soon as it appeared, divine chains sealed the entire world. A single drop of blood suppressed heaven and earth. Everyone felt an unprecedented power. This power wasn't domineering. Instead, it was noble and holy, a power that made others want to kneel in respect. In front of this drop of blood, no one could be arrogant. They would be humbled no matter how strong they were. The sovereign blood finally appeared. Long Chen stared at the drop of blood. The reason he was so calm was because he had sensed this aura from the start. Back on Devil Spirit Mountain, he had witnessed the sovereign blood seal. His memory of the sovereign blood seal was imprinted in his soul. And it was because he sensed that sovereign blood here that he had known this matter wasn't so simple. The only thing that made him curious was that not only had Chu Yao not sensed the sovereign blood, but Sha Guangyan and Peng Wanchang had also failed to sense it. If it was just them, then fine. But what about the saber? Hadn't it once fought against a sovereign? How could it not sense it? Yun Shang, you bastard. Are you planning on sealing me forever? roared the saber. Black Chi exploded out of the saber, transforming into huge black dragons that roared at the sky. Its roar shook everyone's eardrums, and the weaker ones had to cover their ears tightly to try and resist the pain. A total of 18 huge dragons soared out of the saber, unleashing such pressure that no one could breathe. They were not even qualified to touch existences on that level. Yet shockingly, these huge dragons were blown apart when they touched the chains. They vanished into smoke. What everyone, including Long Chen, was shocked. This kind of terrifying attack was unable to even rattle a single drop of blood? How? Was this what it meant to be a sovereign? All life offers sacrifice the black saber suddenly roared again. And all the experts' expressions changed. Chapter 1432 The Gamma Breaker Translator Born to be all the experts from the corrupt path, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance exploded one by one. Chu Yao jumped in shock. This was too sudden. This con was arranged from the start. Long Chen watched as those experts struggled to resist. Through this reminder, Chu Yao thought of how every one of these people had coughed up a mouthful of blood before this. She instantly realized something. All of those experts summoned their manifestations and went all out resisting. But this power wasn't an outer force. It was coming from within them. They were unable to control their own bodies. It was like the self-detonation process had been triggered and could not be stopped. Blood poured towards the black saber. As more essence blood gathered on it, a vague figure gradually grew more solid. No. Screams of despair rang out. Unable to resist this bizarre power, these experts exploded. In the end, the only ones left were Sha Guangyan, Peng Wanshang, and seven ranked nine celestials. They had summoned their manifestations and were just barely able to prevent themselves from exploding. Sha Guangyan and Pen Wanchen were a bit better off. Their primal chaos manifestations made it so there wasn't much change in them. But the rank 9 celestials were all pale as paper, and had the majority of their spirit blood extracted. They had felt like their bodies were no longer theirs. 
Their spirit blood had been extracted in the most barbaric, most domineering method. Even their heavenly Tao energy hadn't helped them. The fortunate thing was that they were alive. The unfortunate thing was that having lost the majority of their spirit blood, they would need to spend a long time recuperating. In the blink of an eye, over a thousand experts were slain. Even life star experts hadn't been able to resist. It had to be known that those who were able to reach this place were all true experts. But they didn't have the slightest ability to resist in front of the black saber. The blood quickly condensed into a 300 meter blood giant. It grasped the black saber. The black saber also grew to become 300 meters long. It slashed down, shaking the sky. Black light devoured the world. A black crescent moon slashed towards the drop of sovereign blood. Boom. The black crescent moon was like a devil's blade. The sovereign blood replayed, and its rainbow light suddenly blazed. A supreme will descended. It was like the will of a god. Something no one could resist. Pen Wanshang, Sha Guangyan, and the rank nine celestials all knelt on the ground in front of this terrifying pressure. Long Chen also felt the pressure, but it didn't affect him at all. On the other hand, Chu Yao turned pale and tottered, requiring him to support her. In that instant, Chu Yao felt like a god was looking at her. She felt that not kneeling would be a blaspheme to that god. But with Long Chen's support, most of the sovereign pressure suddenly vanished. In the end, she didn't kneel. The rainbow light lit up the sky. The black crescent moon shattered. The blood giant exploded. And the black blade dimmed. It once more stabbed into the stone platform in exactly the same position as before. Chu Yao, be careful. I'm going in. Just at this moment, Long Chen shot over. When the black saber stabbed into the ground, just as everyone had yet to recover from their shock, he arrived in front of it. Bastard, don't even think about it. Sha Guangyan and Pen Wanchen roared at the same time, charging over. But Long Chen had taken the initiative. He grabbed the black saber. This was the best opportunity to take it. This was also his only chance. For this chance, he had already moved the world tree sprouts in the primal chaos space into one of the life storage rocks. He was preparing to drop the black saber into the primal chaos space and have the primal chaos bead suppress it. In truth, he could tell that this black saber was still being a scammer. It was acting heavily injured, but it was just for everyone to see. It wanted someone to bring it away. The sovereign blood in the sky only targeted it. It didn't target anyone else. When the time came, no matter who managed to bring it away, it would cooperate. Of course, after striking an agreement with it, the price for bringing it away would probably be that person's life. Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan were unable to see this. They were still rushing over without realizing that if they did succeed in taking the saber, they would most likely be forfeiting their lives. If Long Chen didn't have the primal chaos bead, he wouldn't hesitate to toss the saber to them. But since he did, he had to try it. His hand grabbed hold of the hilt. He was just about to pull it out and toss it in the primal chaos space. But the instant his hand touched the hilt, the saber vanished. Not only did the saber vanish, all the surroundings vanished. Long Chen appeared in a strange space. This space was only a few square meters. The space around it was twisting. It was like he was currently in a stable space flowing through the river of time. Long Chen was shocked, thinking he had fallen into a trap. Don't worry, right now, time is still. Just at this moment, a voice rang out behind him. He turned back to see a white-robed man standing there, looking down at a chessboard on the ground. The man didn't look at him. He seemed to be lost in thought. When he saw this man, Long Chen's heart began to pound madly. He instantly felt like he knew who this person was. Come and have a look at this chessboard. The man beckoned Long Chen over without looking at him. Long Chen's heartbeat pounded loudly in his ears. Despite his big guts, he couldn't stay calm in front of a legendary existence. He forcibly suppressed his emotions and walked over to the man. He didn't feel any pressure. He didn't feel any aura at all. It was like this man didn't even exist. It was like everything in front of him was nothing more than a fabrication. How would you play out this game? Asked the white-robed man. Long Chen carefully examined the chessboard. There was a chaotic arrangement of white and black pieces. Although he didn't know how to play this kind of chess, he could see that the black pieces had almost taken over the board. 
The white pieces were fighting with their backs in a small corner. It should be your turn. Whatever you decide, you have to choose a path, said the man. Long Chen was startled. This sentence sounded like it had a double meaning. He wanted him to make a choice? He knew that this white-robed man was most likely the sovereign Yan Chang mentioned by the Black Saber. But what did choose a path mean? He looked at the chessboard, not saying a word. Hesitating like this shouldn't be your character, sighed the man. Long Chen nodded, clenching his teeth. He reached out. The chessboard flipped through the air, the pieces tumbling to the ground. The white and black pieces transformed into runes that vanished. I don't know how to play this kind of chess, and I don't like wasting time playing by other people's rules. If I have to play, then I'm going to play by my rules. Long Chen was a bit apprehensive inside, but he thickened his skin. The white-robed man seemed to be stunned. Only at this moment did he raise his head. Long Chen finally saw his face. He looked very young, and wasn't particularly handsome. He simply looked average except for his bright eyes. It felt like his eyes contained the river of time. Although he looked young, he also looked ancient. Although he was looking right at him, his memory of him felt like it was constantly being turned vague and indistinct. You wear black robes. The white-robed man was a bit surprised. The flow of the river of time in his eyes suddenly began to flow differently. Looking at his eyes made Long Chen's head hurt. Ha ha ha. I understand. I understand. Truly worthy of the Gamma Breaker. The white-robed man suddenly laughed heartily. Junior Long Chen greets Sovereign Yan Chang. Long Chen paid his respects, while also testing his guess. Good. Very good. The white-robed man didn't admit to it, but he didn't deny it. He just looked at Long Chen. Now it was awkward. Long Chen didn't know what to say to that. However, his face wasn't so thick for nothing. Yes, I also feel like I'm very good. Long Chen nodded. The white-robed man smiled. How is the situation of the Martial Heaven continent now? Unfortunately, I'm not aware of it. My elders refuse to tell me, and I don't particularly care. In any case, no matter what the situation is, all I need to do is look after myself and my people, said Long Chen honestly. When it came to the Martial Heaven continent as a whole, he might as well be blind. There were many things that he didn't know. Whether it was the old man of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect or Li Xiangxuan of the Zhuanshan Dao Sect, or even the Zhuanshan Tower, they all didn't want him to come into contact with too many secrets. He knew that they were doing this for his benefit, so he didn't press them on these questions. Even if he knew those things, what could he possibly do about it? No matter what kind of dangers there were, they would come sooner or later. Dodging was not a way to resolve a problem. In the end, he would have to rely on his power. So all he needed to do was increase his strength. The man nodded at Long Chen. With your current cultivation base, they are afraid of having you bear karma. I can't nitpick them on that. However, you are the Gamma Breaker. These burdens will fall to you to carry sooner or later. You won't be able to run. However, not telling you these things is fine. It'll avoid the implications of karma. They won't be eliminated in accordance to the rules. Senior, what is the Gamma Breaker? Long Chen finally asked this question which he had been puzzling over ever since he had first heard this word. He greatly longed for this white-robed man to answer him. Chapter 1433 The Style of a Sovereign Translator Born to be what is the Gamma Breaker? Isn't it this? The white-robed man smiled and pointed at the chessboard on the ground. At this moment, Long Chen was astonished, realizing that after being flipped, the chessboard had revealed an image. The image was covered in interweaving lines, but he could tell what it was. The ring of blue was the martial heaven sea ring, and the inside of the ring was the central plains. This chessboard actually depicted the martial heaven continent. The man waved his hand, and the chessboard transformed into dots of light that scattered. I've been studying this chessboard for a long time. I've examined countless possibilities to break out of it, yet not a single path worked. But you, you broke the board with a wave of your hand. I'm ashamed. Senior, this little one was just messing around. I really just don't know how to play chess, said Long Chen with embarrassment. Whether or not you know how to play chess isn't important. What's important is that you dare to break convention. That's what's most important. The reason I was unable to break the board was because I'm limited by the rules. 
I wholeheartedly wanted to protect the white pieces, so I was forced to be passive everywhere. But you killed the black pieces with the white pieces. Just this one point is far beyond me, said the white-robed man. Tell me, why do you like the color black? Long Chen was dumbfounded. How was he supposed to answer such a question? If you liked something, then you liked something. Did there have to be a reason? White represents what is light and holy. It shows the way. Black represents destruction and killing. It signifies the end. So I'm very surprised to see you wearing black robes. But now I understand. The Gamma Breaker needs to reach a land of death before giving rise to new life. Ah, some things are so simple and right in front of you. But they're like your eyelashes. And they're so close that you can't see them. Sometimes you can only see things clearer when you have a mirror. Good. Very good. Sighed the white-robed man emotionally. Although this man didn't give off the slightest aura, each of his actions possessed a certain bearing that made others trust him. Despite being a sovereign, he spoke bluntly about his own shortcomings. Just that humility was enough to win Long Chen's praise. Although Long Chen's skin was so thick that it was on the level of an ancestral item, he felt a burning sensation on his cheeks. He shook his head. Junior wouldn't dare to accept sovereign's praise. There are so many things I don't know that it makes me blush with shame. Sometimes knowing more isn't necessarily a good thing. Imagination is always ahead of reality. Reality has to chase the footsteps of imagination. Without imagination, this world would never progress a single step. The white-robed man didn't retort when Long Chen called him a sovereign. Now Long Chen was certain that this man in front of him was the first generation sovereign, Yun Shang. He was talking with an expert who had shaken the world. A grand feeling filled Long Chen. Furthermore, many of Sovereign Yun Shang's viewpoints and philosophies were similar to his own. He couldn't help but feel that they were old friends. Senior, do you want to drink a bit? Long Chen took out a jug of wine. This was currently his best wine. It was the first batch of wine that Tu Kai and Chang had made after advancing to the Life Star Realm. Other than the High Priest's wine. It was definitely the best. To be able to drink with the first generation sovereign, Long Chen would definitely be able to brag in the future. That was like drinking with a god. When he bragged about it in the future, he might not even believe himself. No, a person who's been dead for so many years shouldn't waste your wine. Sovereign Yun Chang smiled. What Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. Even sovereigns could die? According to reason, by that level. A person should have essentially reached the point of never aging or dying. Their longevity would be almost limitless. The sovereigns had vanished from the continent, but the rumor was that they had simply hidden themselves, secretly protecting the world. When the next dark era descended, the sovereigns would once more appear and led them against the devils invading them. But now Sovereign Yun Shang had admitted he was dead from his own mouth. That was somewhat difficult for Long Chen to accept. You'll understand in the future. Life and death aren't actually important. What's important is the final result. Junior brother, I'm very happy to have seen you. You will definitely be the one to save the martial heaven continent from this game of death. Sovereign Yun Shang patted Long Chen on the shoulder. From start to end, Sovereign Yun Shang didn't have the slightest arrogance. Nor did he act like a supreme expert. Rather than the leader of an era. He seemed more like a respectable big brother speaking to his little brother. You overestimate me. Right now, I'm surrounded by enemies. I can't even save myself. Long Chen felt emotional that Yun Shang would treat him like this. But he also couldn't help but bitterly smile. He had yet to recover from his shock that a sovereign had died. He very much wanted to ask. Couldn't a sovereign undergo reincarnation? Couldn't they undergo nirvanic rebirth? Wasn't it said that once a person reached the Nether Passage realm, they would comprehend the profundities of life and death? Now that he looked at Sovereign Yun Shang, Long Chen felt extremely unwell inside. Such a peerless hero had actually died. That was a great pity. Then when he thought about it, if a sovereign was still alive, perhaps the Martial Heaven Continent wouldn't have fragmented into contending powers that had turned the world into such a mess. That was a decision you chose with your instincts. Your path is different from ours. To be surrounded by enemies is also a kind of Tao. We were unable to play this chessboard well. If we had tried to be like you, wiping out black and white pieces together, 
perhaps this world would be in a different state. However, there aren't so many ifs in this world. Back when I suppressed Evil Moon, I saw a bit of the future and your image. So I decided not to destroy Evil Moon. Instead, I sealed it, using a drop of my spirit blood to keep it suppressed. I left a portion of my soul in my spirit blood for your arrival. And now, you really have come. In my day, I saw many bits of the future, and the conclusions were all miserable. The continent was fractured, corpses littered the ground, blood flowed in rivers, and all life was annihilated. This place became a graveyard. But this time, I see hope for the Martial Heaven continent. I see the slightest opportunity when I look at you. But I didn't expect that another person who could affect the fate of the Martial Heaven continent would appear. A girl took away Evil Moon's soul essence. That was originally a gift I had prepared for you. The heavenly deos really are unfathomable. However, seeing you, I'm at ease. We were unable to accomplish our mission. So we have no choice but to leave it to you. Eh hey girl? Was it Len Yuian? No wonder she hadn't appeared here. She must have found another opportunity. Could it be that the thing she needed was precisely Evil Moon's soul essence? This burden's very heavy. I'm afraid I won't be able to carry it. For now, Long Chen didn't worry about Len Yuian. He bitterly smiled at Sovereign Yan Shan. How was he supposed to become the savior of the world? He had never had such aspirations. He wasn't skilled in saving the world. He was better at exterminating the world. You picked up this burden a long time ago. The people you love are your motivation for fighting. I trust you will do better than anyone else. All right. I've pretty much used up all the energy in this drop of essence blood. I have to leave. But before leaving... I'll help you out a bit. I'll help you seal Evil Moon's soul. For now, you won't be able to use it. So just treat it as a gift for your future self. After saying this, Sovereign Yun Shang vanished along with the space around then, and Long Chen appeared on the altar once more, holding Evil Moon's hilt. Die. At this moment, Sha Guangyan and Peng Wanchen launched fierce attacks at him. Wood Spirit Protection Chu Yao's cry rang out. The ground split open and huge wooden stakes wove together to form a huge wall. This wall was made of thousands and thousands of wooden stakes. Each of them was 30 meters thick and covered in dark gold runes, and the wall was made of hundreds of layers of them. Chu Yao was going all out to protect Long Chen. Just at this moment, the drop of sovereign blood in the sky fell onto the black saber. The saber let out a heaven-shaking roar and then fell silent. A banging sound rang out and the wooden wall shook violently. Debris was flying everywhere as Peng Wancheng and Sha Guangyan attacked. Long Chen, hurry, the two of them are too powerful for me to hold much longer, cried Chu Yao. Long Chen didn't need Chu Yao's urging. He was pulling as hard as he could, but the saber was too heavy. It was like it had taken root. Get out, Long Chen roared furiously. His divine ring appeared and green scales covered his body. Finally, the stone broke, and Evil Moon was pulled out. After pulling it out, he tossed it into the primal chaos space. When it fell inside, it let out a heavy thudding sound. Its weight was absolutely terrifying. For now, he had no time to worry about it. A golden flame sphere rapidly grew in his hand. On the other side of the wall, Peng Wancheng and Sha Guangyan were roaring angrily as they attacked the wooden wall. The thing that infuriated them the most was that Chu Yao's wooden wall possessed its own life energy and was constantly repairing. Now they were experiencing the abnormal defenses of a wood cultivator. Hearing Long Chen's roar inside, they both had a bad feeling. They no longer held back and unleashed their strongest attack. A sand hand and a golden sword slammed into the wooden wall, causing it to instantly explode. Yet, before they could get a look at the situation inside, a huge golden sphere exploded like a star in front of them. Boom. The two of them hadn't even understood what was happening when they were sent flying by a terrifying force. Worst of all, they were covered in golden flames that ignited their bodies. It wasn't just the two of them. The sphere's explosion covered a huge area, and those rank 9 celestials that had survived were also swallowed by it. Fuck. What kind of flame is this? Raged a rank 9 celestial. It felt like oil was stuck to their bodies and they couldn't get rid of it. They were only able to circulate their heavenly Tao energy to slowly extinguish it. Once the flames were extinguished, 
They looked like birds that had flown out of the fire. Other than their eyes, they were completely black, and a burnt smell came from them. Where are they? Sha Guangyan roared, his killing intent raging. A thousand miles in every direction had been turned to charred land, but Long Chen and Chu Yao had vanished. Of course, the Black Saber had vanished as well. Chapter 1434 Dark Clouds Gather Translator Born to be Bastard Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan both roared furiously, looking almost insane. Their chilly killing intent made the surviving seven rank nine celestial shiver, but they could understand what they were feeling. They had all long since heard that there was a priceless treasure sealed in the sovereign's battlefield. So when the dark forest had surprisingly invited them into adventure in the spirit world, they had immediately rushed toward this battlefield. But the thick mist surrounding this place had stalled them for many days. Many of them had almost died in the mist. Then when they finally found the priceless treasure, many people had assumed it would land in either Sha Guangyan or Pen Wancheng's hands. Yet, the final result was that the Black Saber's power had been far more terrifying than any of them had expected, and they were unable to subdue it. Over a thousand experts were forced to become offerings to it, leaving only the nine of them alive. As for the Black Saber, it had been snatched away by Long Chen. Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng had labored so long for nothing. Well, that wasn't completely true. They had come out with four slaps in the face. Regretfully, Sha Guangyan only got one. The lucky Pen Wancheng was leaving with three, each more vicious than the last. When they thought about it, they realized all their efforts had ended up benefiting Long Chen. He had snatched away their harvest without standing on ceremony and then bestowed them with a slap in the face. The seven rank nine celestials looked at each other, not daring to say a word. They were afraid Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng might kill them in their fury. Although they were rank nine celestials, after Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng had appeared, they had known and accepted that the treasure would have no destiny with them. So they hadn't interfered Novaloon.com for them. Having the treasure snatched away by Long Chen didn't feel so bad. That was because even if Long Chen didn't get it, they wouldn't have obtained it anyways. Fuck. Sha Guangyan roared and smashed the ground. His core sand had been ruined by Long Chen. The ground was originally a sea of sand, but as a result of the golden flames, it had crystallized, looking like a frozen lake. Sha Guangyan's punch shattered the ground. How could that bastard possess the legendary heaven incinerating flame? Pen Wancheng clenched his teeth furiously. A short while ago, there was an earth flame spirit beast of the heaven incinerating flame that came out of the river of lava on the outskirts of the battlefield. It was still in an immature state, and I tried to obtain it. However, who would have thought that some idiots from the corrupt path would ruin things and allow Long Chen to snatch it away? One of the ancient family alliance's experts suddenly walked forward and pointed at Ji Yui Yan. Both the trident-wielding ancient race expert and the ancient family alliance expert who had fought over the heaven incinerating flame back then were present. They both glared at Ji Yui Yan. Everyone's focus turned to Ji Yui Yan. Ji Yui Yan was enraged. He was the only member of the corrupt path remaining here. Although the corrupt path had also moved out in great force and in truth, they had brought in the greatest number of people this time. The majority of their experts were attacking the forest of life and capturing the spirit race warriors. The corrupt path's higher-ups had warned them not to go mess around on this battlefield. This battlefield was too dangerous, and the majority of those who entered ended up dying. Even rank 9 celestials might die here. So in comparison, the things that could be obtained from the battlefield weren't worth it. That was why the higher-ups of the corrupt path, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance had all warned them of the dangers. However, the allure of the ancient battlefield was too great. Despite those warnings, a large portion of people still wanted to test their luck here. Some people who felt themselves to be extraordinary geniuses came because they felt like they were the sons of fate. They felt that the heavens would help them. However, most of those extraordinary geniuses ended up having weaker willpower and dying in the illusion formation. Even a rank 9 celestial would die there without a strong enough will. There was a phrase in the secular world, those who drown are those who know how to swim. This phrase was suitable to the cultivation world as well. The majority of experts listened to warnings, 
but some experts felt that they were so strong that the warnings didn't apply to them. Of course, some experts were simply supremely stupid and would come regardless of any advice. In truth, Ji Yuai Yan hadn't originally been planning on coming here. However, his ghost king had been destroyed by Long Chen. He was worried that if he stayed in the forest of life, he might end up running into him again. That was no different than sending himself into the hands of a Yama king. So he had entered this battlefield, testing his luck. Perhaps if he found a treasure, he could make up for the loss of his ghost king. Without his ghost king, he would be amongst the weakest level of rank 9 celestials. When he had seen the flame dragon in the lava river, he had been ecstatic. In his opinion, if these two hadn't interfered, he would have managed to capture the flame dragon, and there would have been no chance for Long Chen to snatch it away. Now, these two were inverting the truth to push all the blame onto him. He was infuriated. Fuck off. I was the one who first noticed the heaven incinerating flame, and the first to capture it. Is it fun to slander others? Although you have more experts on your side, I dare you to try killing me, roared Ji Yuai Yan. He could see that these two bastards were extremely sinister and were trying to get him killed by Sha Guangyan and Pen Wanshang. Having been slapped by Long Chen and duped in the end, they were filled with rage that had nowhere to go. Now, the two bastards were trying to point that fury at Ji Yuai Yan who was the only one from the corrupt path here. Pow. Suddenly, a person was slapped hard in the face. However, it wasn't Ji Yuai Yan. Pen Wancheng had slapped the trident-wielding ancient race expert. Half his face caved in and blood flowed out. Pen Wancheng's slap was extremely vicious. Not only had he smashed that fellow ancient race expert's face to pulp, but he had used his own heavenly Tao energy to make it more difficult for him to heal. Everyone jumped in shock not comprehending why Pen Wancheng would slap his own people. Next time if you dare to use me, I'll kill you. Pen Wancheng glared at the ancient race expert. With my golden pen eyes, do you think you'd be able to trick me? The ancient race expert quivered in terror. This little one knows his mistake. Pen Wancheng had high authority in the ancient races. Even rank 9 celestials didn't dare to go against him. It was just like Pen Wancheng had said. If Empyreans were the crown prince, Celestials were just some random officers beneath them. This was the power of Empyreans, their absolute domination. Only after he admitted his mistake did the injury to his face slowly begin to heal. Explain it in detail. What happened? Asked Pen Wancheng icily. This time, the ancient race expert didn't dare to lie at all. He gave a complete explanation of what had happened. I heard that bastard is also an alchemist and in control of flame energy. With the heaven incinerating flame, he's like a tiger with wings, said the ancient race expert hatefully. Who knows how long Chen entered? Asked Sha Guangyan. He was very curious. The dark forest's relationship with the righteous path was unfriendly. How could the righteous path have sent their disciples in? No one knows. But we can be sure that Long Chen is closely related to the forest of life said Ji Yuai Yan. He brought up his own fight with Long Chen in the forest. At that time, Long Chen had let him off just for some spirit race warriors. Then let us use the dark forest to attack the forest of life and force them to hand over Long Chen and Evil Moon, said Sha Guangyan. Where is the corrupt path Sampirian? Who did you send? Their agreement was that the ancient races, ancient family alliance, and corrupt path would all send one and only one Empyrean here. That way, they would all have similar power levels, and they could work together easier. It's Len Yuian, said Ji Yuai Yan bitterly. Her, Sha Guangyan and Pen Wanchen were both badly shocked. Len Yuian's name was just that frightening. Why isn't she here? asked Sha Guangyan. Ji Yuai Yan shook his head and sighed. I don't know. I don't even know why the higher-ups allowed her to come. She simply decided to come without asking for permission. Of course. No one dared to say anything. Practically, everyone in the corrupt path avoided her like the plague. Of course, those who wanted to die were the exception. Ji Yuai Yan was amongst those. He blessed his fortune that Len Yuian hadn't killed him. In the corrupt path, there was another rank 9 celestial who felt himself to be stronger than Ji Yuai Yan, to be more handsome than Ji Yuai Yan, and who wanted to subdue Len Yuian. As a result, 
his head ended up joining Len Yuyan's throne. After that, no one dared to say anything to Len Yuyan. In truth, such a large movement was not suitable for Len Yuyan to come. The higher-ups hadn't even wanted her to come. She had simply come of her own volition. After coming, she ignored them all, and she didn't even give them any information about her own movements before vanishing. The corrupt experts in the spirit world could only act for themselves. Can you communicate with her? Asked Sha Guangyan. No, she doesn't care about any of us, said Ji Yuai Yan. But he didn't add what he was thinking. Those that she cared about all ended up dead. Then we don't need to bother with her. We'll immediately gather our forces and alert the dark forest that we're going to annihilate the forest of life. If they don't want to be destroyed, they have to hand over Evil Moon, said Pen Wanshang, killing intent flashing in his eyes. Chapter 1435 You Dare to Mock Me Translator Born to be Long Chen and Chu Yao were rushing away. Long Chen was a streak of light, with lightning wings and lightning runes on his feet raising his speed to unprecedented heights. Under the cover of Starfall, he had pulled Chu Yao out of the range that they could be sensed in just an instant. Long Chen, that's about enough. Let's rest for a bit. After six hours of travel, Chu Yao's voice rang out. Long Chen looked at her and was frightened to see her face was pale. He hastily stopped. Are you injured? Chu Yao shook her head. I'm not injured. Your thunder force is just very uncomfortable to me. I'm not afraid of other people's thunder force but yours is very difficult to bear. Long Chen realized the problem. His thunder force came from the Nine Heavens Tribulation Lightning. Its aim was pure destruction. As for Chu Yao, she cultivated the life Dao. The two of them were incompatible. He immediately put away his thunder force. This really is far enough. We can rest. Long Chen pulled Chu Yao to a nearby lake. The two of them sat on the shore. While running, Long Chen had left behind many misleading tracks. Even if they were being followed, they should have a few days before they caught up. On the way, Chu Yao had been focused on concealing their spiritual fluctuations and auras. Tracking them would be extremely difficult. The only possibility was if they spread out and searched through a large area, but doing so would be suicide. Other than Sha Guangyan and Pen Wanshang, who else could threaten Long Chen? If the two of them split up, then if they faced Long Chen and Chu Yao alone, they would be in an extremely dangerous position. So Long Chen felt that as long as those two weren't stupid, they wouldn't chase. In other words, the two of them were essentially safe. This battlefield was so huge, that looking for the two of them would be like searching for a needle in an ocean. I'm sorry, both my thunder force and flame energy are incompatible with your wood energy, said Long Chen. The only good thing was that he wasn't a lightning cultivator, nor was he a flame cultivator. Otherwise, his aura really would be difficult for Chu Yao to get close to. Now that Long Chen willed it, all traces of his lightning and flame energy vanished. That lifted the pressure on Chu Yao. Why be so polite? After being apart for so long, have you started feeling unfamiliar with me? Chu Yao smiled lightly. How could that be possible? I'm your future husband. How could we be unfamiliar with each other? Long Chen also smiled. He was filled with gratitude inside. With Chu Yao's talent, position, and beauty, she had countless suitors. But she declared him to be her husband and refused all those people. The only one she allowed inside her heart was him. Chu Yao leaned against Long Chen's shoulder. She looked at the calm lake. In this moment, she felt blessed. Did you manage to get the saber? Were there any problems? After a moment, Chu Yao suddenly asked. The Black Saber was absolutely terrifying. She was naturally a bit worried that it would cause trouble for Long Chen. Originally, I was just testing it, but I didn't expect to really get it with a certain person's assistance. Chu Yao, guess who I saw? Long Chen instantly became excited, almost looking like a child. What would make you this excited? Don't tell me that you saw the sovereign Chu Yao laughed. How did you know? Long Chen was startled. Now Chu Yao was startled. You, you really saw the sovereign Long Chen told Chu Yao about what he had gone through in that mysterious space. In truth, he was trying to keep his expression calm, but there was simply no way to control himself. Hearing Long Chen's story, Chu Yao was completely shocked. She held his hand, amazed. Long Chen, 
you're amazing. Even a sovereign has high hopes for you. You'll definitely become a world-shaking figure. Long Chen shook his head. I think it's unlikely. I don't have that kind of ambition. Nor do I have such a grand goal. I'm not like the sovereigns who protected this world with their full power. In my heart, I just need to protect you and the others. As for the rest of the world, they had nothing to do with me. Long Chen was full of respect and reverence for the sovereigns. That was because he would never be able to be like them. They had been completely selfless in their defense of the continent. He had never thought to be such a grand person. All he wanted to do was protect what he had. He was selfish. He was unable to be like the sovereigns. Although Sovereign Yun Shang didn't tell him how he had died, he trusted that godlike figures like them were capable of existing forever. There had to be some kind of secret behind their deaths. That secret was very likely closely related to the Martial Heaven Continent. For the Martial Heaven Continent, the sovereigns had paid far too much. If it was for the people he loved, Long Chen wouldn't hesitate to sacrifice his life. But he was unable to do something like that for people unrelated to him, and certainly not for his enemies. So he felt ashamed of Sovereign Yun Chang's praise. He really wasn't able to accept it. Long Chen, don't be humble. Sovereigns weren't born that way. They reached the peak of the martial path step by step just like you. According to what I know, the five generations of sovereigns all had to advance through countless setbacks. They had to kill countless powerful enemies to reach their unrivaled level. It's very similar to your own experiences. And just from your conversation with Sovereign Yun Shang, it seems your characters are very similar. To be powerful but humble. To be confident but not conceited. No matter what realm you reach, you never forget your original heart. That's the sign of a real expert, said Chu Yao, proud of him. Long Chen felt a burst of emotion and pulled Chu Yao into his embrace. My treasure, you're right. Keep praising me and don't stop. I feel my vanity being satisfied Long Chen. Chu Yao pushed him away, rebuking. You're no longer a child. Is your skin really this thick? Chu Yao smiled as she rebuked him. This shameless nature of Long Chen's was still the same as back in the Phoenix Cry Empire. This meant he was still the same Long Chen. Can you take out Devil Moon for me to get a look? Asked Chu Yao curiously. Just from the fact that it was worth a sovereign sealing it, this saber had to be absolutely terrifying. Even Chu Yao was very curious. Just what kind of existence was Evil Moon for it to be able to challenge a sovereign? Boom. Long Chen took out Evil Moon, and its huge weight caused the ground to split open. Even Long Chen was unable to handle its weight. Spirit Wood Foundation. Chu Yao formed a hand seal, and wooden stakes grew out of the ground, forming a platform. Only once there were hundreds of thick wooden stakes did the ground beneath the two of them stop sinking. But cracks had spread in a hundred miles, and the calm lake had vanished into the cracks of the earth. Chu Yao embarrassedly stuck out her tongue. What a terrifying weight. Long Chen was also embarrassed. Back when he had taken it out at first, he had thought it was difficult to pull out because of the platform's formation. He hadn't expected Evil Moon's real weight to actually be so high. Without the green dragon battle armor, he was unable to hold it, embarrassing him. Fortunately Chu Yao was nice and didn't laugh at him. This pitch black saber had an image of a dragon brandishing its claws and bearing its fangs on one side. It was menacing and powerful. As for its tip, it was not a straight edge. Instead, the tip was a crescent moon shape. Although the blade was pitch black, it gave off a flickering, shining visual illusion. It was like the fang of a bloodthirsty devil. With the dragon image and the crescent moon tip, all together, Evil Moon gave off a feeling of terror. Just looking at it would make a person feel like their soul was being sucked in. It was an extremely dangerous, evil weapon. There was no way it could be used. The hilt of the saber was originally blank, but now a divine mark had appeared on it. This divine mark contained the aura of a sovereign. Rainbow light shined within it. It was the Yun character written in ancient scripture. It was the seal left behind by sovereign Yun Shang. Yun Shang, you bastard. You've already dead. But you still seal me. Just wait. When I break out of this seal, I'll slaughter all the creatures in your world. Suddenly, a furious roar came from within the saber. The black saber shook violently as if some kind of power was trying to break out of the saber. However, 
The sovereign seal prevented that energy from coming out of the saber. Just keep bragging. This is my first time being so amazed by someone's bragging. I wonder, is your bragging in the realm of believing your own bragging? Asked Long Chen. Shut up, you insolent brat. If it weren't for Yun Shang, I could kill you with just a thought. Roared the saber. If, then if I was a sovereign, I would kill you ten thousand times with a fart. Who doesn't know how to brag? But does bragging have any use? Snorted Long Chen disdainfully. Brat. I might have fallen in your hands, but you should keep in mind that using me will invoke karma on you. That karma isn't one that will end with just your death. It will slaughter all your descendants until your bloodline comes to an end. Right now, your smartest move would be to release me from this seal. I can accept you as a disciple and kill all your enemies in this world, said the saber. Because of the sovereign seal, your soul bewitching arts have lost most of their effect. You shouldn't embarrass yourself by trying to use them. I'm not an idiot like Sha Guangyan and Pen Wanshang. I'm so experienced. I've eaten more salt than you've eaten rice in your life. Long Chen's lip curled into a sneer. Long Chen, it's older than you, reminded Chu Yao. This bragging was a bit too exaggerated. After all, this was a weapon that had come from the era of sovereigns. It's fine. A saber doesn't eat rice. So I'm still right. Long Chen shrugged. Bastard. You dare to mock me. Black Chi suddenly exploded out of the saber along with a terrifying aura. Chapter 1436 Divine Baptism Translator. Born to be the black saber slowly rose into the air. Unleashing boundless killing intent. It looked like a berserk devil god about to annihilate this entire world. But then the sovereign seal on it activated. Evil Moon trembled. And became unable to release its power. So. You even know how to dance. Since I've managed to reunite with my dear Chu Yao, we should celebrate. Please, keep dancing. Don't worry, if you dance well, there will be a generous tip at the end, declared Long Chen. With the sovereign seal, this evil moon wasn't able to cause any waves. A sovereign was truly a sovereign. A single drop of blood could suppress anything. You, evil moon roared furiously, and then fell from the sky. Silent. Chu Yao's wooden platform blew apart from the impact. Chu Yao had to summon it again. Looking at the listless evil moon, Chu Yao couldn't help feeling some sympathy. Had it died of anger? She understood Long Chen far too well. Falling into his hands was truly its misfortune. HMPH, don't act dead. I have some questions for you. Long Chen patted evil moon. He was very interested in it. But no matter how he called out to it, it refused to reply. He didn't know whether it had really passed out from anger or was just intentionally ignoring him. Seeing this, Long Chen rolled up his pants and took off his shoes. After taking off his shoes, he even took off his socks. Chu Yao looked at Long Chen uncomprehendingly. She had no idea what he was thinking. Sigh. The past few days have been so tiring. I've gotten calluses all over my feet. This blade looks sharp enough for me to give myself a pedicure. Long Chen began to raise Evil Moon to his feet. Stop, you damn bastard. How dare you treat me like this? Stop. A panicked and enraged voice came from the saber. What did you say? I didn't hear anything that I wanted to hear. Long Chen touched his foot to Evil Moon. Suddenly, light flashed out of Evil Moon, and Long Chen immediately pulled back his foot. However, a sharp light from Evil Moon still cut his soul, causing blood to pour out. Fortunately, he was fast enough, or his foot would have been cut in half. HMPH, I suppose you are sharp. Long Chen was startled. Such a heavy weapon should be focused on heaviness, but it was unexpected that it was also this sharp. Furthermore, his blood was pouring out like a flood from this injury. There was some special energy on the wound trying to make his blood run dry. That also shocked him. Even though Evil Moon was sealed, it still possessed such a strange power. Before Long Chen could stop the blood, Chu Yao pressed a hand to his back. Life energy poured into him, and the wound slowly closed. The strange energy also vanished. What a terrifying power. It took quite a bit of energy, said Chu Yao. As a wood cultivator, healing was her forte. For someone else, even a limb could be regrown by her in an instant. But just that tiny cut to Long Chen's foot that barely broke the skin had taken an enormous amount of energy to heal. After a moment's shock, 
Long Chen silently put his socks and shoes back on. Evil Moon sneered. Little brat, although I might be sealed, don't think you can subdue me. If you're smart, you'll release me as soon as possible. I can still go with the conditions I gave you for now, but if you take too long. After putting on his shoes, Long Chen stood up and slowly untied his belt. Chu Yao, you should turn around. Evil Moon isn't very obedient right now, so I'll use my core elixir to baptize it let it undergo rebirth. Long Chen stamped on Evil Moon with a foot. His belt was untied. Chu Ya realized what he was doing and immediately turned away, blushing. Hey, what do you think you're doing? A furious and alarmed voice rang out. Child, don't be afraid. Let me baptize you in my divine elixir. You will be completely reborn. Through my baptism, you will no longer be violent. You will no longer be lost. My divine elixir will guide you. It will ignite the lighthouse of your life. You will no longer be a lost sheep. Your life will finally have meaning and direction divine light suddenly began to bathe Long Chen's face as he spoke devoutly and piously. Chu Yao couldn't hold back a chuckle. Although her back was facing him, just hearing the nonsense he was spouting, she could imagine his righteous expression. Bastard don't you dare. You can't. Cried out Evil Moon. Evil Moon struggled, but it was sealed, and the power it could use was limited. With Long Chen stamping on it, there was no way for it to injure him. It violently trembled. Child, my divine elixir is coming. I haven't drank a lot of water these days, so it might be a bit yellow. You have to carefully taste it and make sure you experience it fully. Don't be afraid. Only by breaking the past can you build success in the future. Without experiencing the pain of the cocoon, how will you one day become a butterfly? Ready yourself. The divine baptism is about to become. Long Chen took a deep breath, preparing himself to unleash the divine baptism. Bastard. Fine. I admit defeat. Let me go. And don't you dare piss. Evil Moon's voice was full of rage and unwillingness, but it still admit its defeat. You really don't want my divine baptism? This is my first time offering my baptism to others. My essence has become very thick. Do you not want to consider it? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen. You're a monster. I admit defeat. If you want to ask something, just ask. Sighed Evil Moon. Long Chen smiled evilly. He had finally grabbed this evil blade's weakness. It could be counted as a small bargaining chip. Divine items possessed item spirits that were essentially as intelligent as people. The stronger the item spirit, the greater their dignity. They would be even more offended by an insult than a human expert. Only then did Long Chen stop preparing for his divine baptism. Putting away his divine tool, he tidied his clothes. Then tell me, when you fought Sovereign Yun Shang back then, how many exchanges did you last before being defeated? Long Chen wanted to know just how strong Evil Moon was. For it to dare to challenge a sovereign, it had to be extraordinary. This question, it's, ah, Evil Moon began to sputter. Long Chen and Chu Yao exchanged a confused look. Long Chen's expression became odd. A hundred exchanges he probed. Um, a bit lower. Eighty exchanges a bit lower. Fifty exchanges a bit lower again. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Five. Fuck. Don't tell me that you were defeated in just one move. Every time Long Chen asked, Evil Moon would reply that it was a bit lower. Evil Moon didn't reply this time. Long Chen raged. Fuck. After bragging so much, I thought you actually had some skill. What a waste. Long Chen kicked Evil Moon in his rage. Evil Moon tumbled twice through the air, while Long Chen's shoe exploded, and his foot broke. What do you think a sovereign is? Just how many people in this world dare to challenge one? No matter how you put it, at least I had the bravery to fight against him. Just that is enough for me to laugh arrogantly, roared Evil Moon. What are you going to laugh about? You're the idiot who couldn't even receive a single attack from him. Don't you feel ashamed for saying you could challenge him? Cursed Long Chen. He really was angry. Originally, he had thought he had obtained a priceless treasure that might allow him to dominate this world if he used it well. But now he found that this blade wasn't able to receive a single attack from a sovereign. That was too disappointing. He felt like he had been duped. What do you know? The sovereign stood at the peak of this world. You didn't live in that era. So how could you know how terrifying a sovereign is? 
Even if I wasn't a match for the sovereign, I killed one of his followers. Who could compare to such an accomplishment? I absorbed the souls of all those ants at the altar. So don't try to dupe me. I know your human race only had five sovereigns. Ignoring the sovereigns, their followers were also peak existences. In all of history, I, Dragonbone Evil Moon, am the only one to kill a sovereign's follower. Evil Moon roared back at Long Chen. Chu Ya stared in shock as one man and one saber cursed at each other. She covered her mouth, a strange expression in her eyes. She was unable to understand how things had developed to this point. Just from Long Chen's expression, she could tell that he really was angry. She didn't know why he was so angry though. You killed a follower, and then were subdued in one move by the sovereign? And then you had the face to say you dared to challenge a sovereign? In all my years, I've never encountered anyone as shameless as you. Tell me, how did you manage to make your skin so thick? I'm not going to argue with a little brat. Do you think an ant knows anything of this world? You haven't reached the realm, so everything you know now isn't worth a damn. Cursed Evil Moon, Long Chen, calm down, we can discuss this properly. Seeing Long Chen's chest heaving with rage, Chu Yao interrupted. Long Chen took a deep breath and suppressed his anger. Although the fact that Evil Moon had been defeated by Sovereign Yun Chang in one move disappointed him, Evil Moon was right. Anyone who dared to challenge a sovereign could not be ordinary. Fine, I won't bother with that then. Tell me, how did that battle back then happen? Asked Long Chen. I'm not your prisoner. It'd be best if you were more polite when you spoke to me. Said Evil Moon frostily. Fine, the divine baptism ceremony can start now. Long Chen once more untied his belt. Chapter 1437 3 begets all things translator. Born to be the divine baptism was unrivaled. In the end, the terrifying Evil Moon was scared of the threat of Long Chen's urine and explained everything. Seeing this made Chu Ya shake her head. Evil Moon was an evil weapon, but Long Chen was even more evil. He never did things the way a normal person would. Through Evil Moon, Long Chen learned that it came from a devil world. This was something he had expected. However, the devil world was far greater than he had imagined. There were demon devil worlds, blood devil worlds, human devil worlds, and more, all of which combined were the total devil world. There were many different races within the devil world. As for Evil Moon, it wasn't originally a weapon. It had actually been a two-headed dragon that had charged into this world. Its bones had been refined into this weapon. Back when Long Chen had been looking to learn some of the ancient arts in the battlefield, he had seen a large claw smash down from the sky. Evil Moon had been the master of that claw. However, Evil Moon said that its body had been destroyed by Yun Shang, and now its soul resided in the saber. It was a similar existence to an item spirit. Originally, it was a dark evil dragon. Since it had been refined from its bones, it was now called Dragonbone Evil Moon. Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. No wonder Evil Moon was so heavy. Sovereign Yun Shang had destroyed its physical body and refined all its essence into this blade. It seemed Sovereign Yun Shang had been intent on giving him a great gift. When Long Chen asked why Evil Moon had come to attack the spirit world, it replied that at that time, the spatial walls between the spirit world and the demon devil world it came from had become extremely weak. So it had chosen to enter. Originally, its target was the martial heaven continent. But the spatial barrier between the demon devil world and the martial heaven continent was too sturdy, and experts on its level couldn't pass through it. That was why the goal had been to come through the spirit world, setting it up as a stronghold, before invading the martial heaven continent. However, they had met with catastrophe. As soon as they had entered, Sovereign Yun Shang had led an army of experts to annihilate them. That was when it had been sealed. According to Evil Moon, they were the first wave of invaders in the spirit world. At that time, the Dark Forest hadn't existed. When Long Chen asked about the Dark Forest, it said that they came from a branch of the Demon Devil world. They were tree demons. Although it could be said that they were on the same side, they weren't actually friendly with each other. How is it that the Dark Forest managed to dominate this place while you were annihilated? Asked Long Chen. Are you stupid? Do you think we were weaker than those wooden-brained idiots? They had a complete advantage compared to us. When we attacked, the spatial channel was opened as much as possible. 
and we ended up fighting against a sovereign right off the bat. As for when they invaded, the Martial Heaven continent was in chaos, or they'd never have managed to dominate the spirit world like this. Raged Dragonbone Evil Moon. Long Chen found that as long as he raised a question about Evil Moon's power, it would immediately strike back, conveniently giving him some new information. Then why did you want to invade the Martial Heaven continent at all? Asked Long Chen. This was the crux. Who knows? It was the orders from higher ups. We were just following orders, said Evil Moon coldly. Orders from higher ups? What is that supposed to mean? It means what it means. I wasn't qualified to know anything further seeing Long Chen once more beginning to untie his belt. Evil Moon roared. I don't know. If you really want to humiliate me, then I'd rather kill myself. Long Chen. Leave it be. Perhaps it really doesn't know. Suggested Chu Yao upon seeing Long Chen force such a terrifying evil weapon to such a state. You've misunderstood. I just didn't tie my belt tight enough before this. Long Chen smiled mischievously. But Chu Yao clearly didn't believe him. He thought about it for a moment before asking. Evil Moon. You dared to challenge a sovereign. Someone like you is qualified to be my weapon. Assist me. And I will one day return your freedom. Novaloon.com what nonsense. It's simply impossible. With your current power. I could kill you effortlessly if this sovereign seal wasn't keeping me in check. You think you're fit for me to help you? What a huge joke. If you really do try to force me, I'd rather die, sneered Evil Moon. Long Chen was startled. Originally, he had thought that this evil fellow would agree and then use its evil aura to slowly infect him and try to gain control of him. But instead, it had directly refused him, and so stubbornly at that. Long Chen also didn't dare to force things. He had just been trying to scare it before. Even if it didn't submit, he wouldn't really pee on it. Otherwise. How was he supposed to use it in the future? He smiled calmly. Right now, you refuse because I'm too weak. Correct? Then what if I become someone on the same level as a sovereign evil moon paused for a moment before saying, we can discuss it after you reach that level. As a member of the dark evil dragon race, I definitely won't lower my head to a weakling. That would be an insult to the dragon race. Are you really a descendant of the dragon race? But of course. The dark evil dragon is the direct descendant of the true dragons. Although we left the true dragon race, our bloodline is still pure. Even purer than my spirit blood, asked Long Chen. HMPH. So what if your spirit blood is pure? You're just a human. The power of your spirit blood is limited. Just how many of the dragon race's divine abilities are you able to use? Snorted Evil Moon disdainfully. However, Long Chen could hear its jealousy. Clearly. His dragon blood was the purest essence blood of a true dragon. He asked some more questions, but Evil Moon seemed to have realized what Long Chen was doing and refused to answer him any longer. Long Chen wasn't able to dredge up any more valuable information. Evil Moon, I won't make things hard on you. Your seal was placed by Sovereign Yan Shang. He has given you to me, and to put it frankly, you're like a slave. However, I will treat you with the appropriate respect. The thing is though, respect must be mutual. If you don't want to, you cannot help me. But when I use you, you can't cause any intentional trouble for me. Otherwise, no matter how strong you might be as a weapon, since I can't use it, I might as well toss you into some manure. I, Long Chen, never say any empty words. I won't force you to help. But if you try to bring me down at a critical moment, you can just spend the rest of your life stuck in manure. Warned Long Chen. This Dragonbone Evil Moon was an incomparably terrifying existence. If used well, it could save his life. But if it caused trouble for him in the middle of a fight, he might lose his life. So he had to warn it. Fine, I'll accept this, said Evil Moon before going completely silent. Long Chen nodded and put it away. It was so heavy that unless he entered his strongest state, there was no way for him to use it. Although he had received this promise from Evil Moon, he still had to be careful. Who knew whether or not this evil fellow would cause more trouble? Chu Yao had mostly recovered, so the two of them didn't tarry. They rushed off to the Forest of Life. When Chu Yao saw the Forest of Life, she immediately fell in love with it. This place was like paradise for her. 
Spirit race warriors immediately came to greet them when they arrived. Long Chen asked what had transpired while he had been away. They told him that the spirit race warriors had abandoned their front lines and had all retreated back to the forest of life. Now their border was lined with their spirit beasts ready to fight at any time. Although a few human experts had tried to sneak in. After being mercilessly slaughtered by the spirit beasts. No more came. Long Chen nodded. Those bastards viewed the spirit race as prey. So this was the only way to protect them. However, as a result of this. Their earnings had suddenly come to a halt. So many experts had entered the spirit world, but now their candy was taken away after just a taste. They definitely wouldn't retreat just like this. Although the current situation looked calm, it was the calm before the storm. Long Chen could smell a crisis descending. The two of them got on a flying magical beast that brought them deep into the forest of life. Chu Yao was just as stunned by the forest of life's beauty as Long Chen and the others had been when they had first seen it. The dream butterflies flew all around her, not leaving for a long time. Chu Yao said that these spirit creatures liked her and asked her to stay forever. This was Chu Yao's first time feeling such a strong sense of belonging. When the flying beast brought them to the floating islands, Chu Yao was intoxicated with the scenery. This was a miracle of life. When they reached the life god tree, Chu Yao didn't wait for Long Chen to say anything. She directly rushed over and knelt on the ground, forming some strange hand seals with her hands in accordance with some ancient ceremony. Warm light descended from the heavens, landing on Chu Yao's body. Mist floated around her, making her look like the divine emissary of the life god. I didn't think the human race would produce a cultivator with such intimate life energy. She formed an instant resonance with the life god tree. The spirit queen appeared beside Long Chen, staring in shock at Chu Yao who was bathed in the divine light. Chu Yao was in a strange state. Her eyes were closed, and she spread her arms, seeming to embrace this entire world. A green light appeared on her forehead. It gradually grew clearer, revealing that it was a soft shoot. The soft shoot germinated, sprouting a tender green leaf. First one, then two, then three. The three leaves slowly spread open glistening. Dense runes covered them, and those runes began to interweave, showing a mystical scene. That scene contained boundless life forms evolving. The Tao begets one, one begets two, two begets three, three begets all things. This is the life Tao, praised the spirit queen pleasantly. Surprised, the three leaves revolved, forming a cycle. Life energy bloomed from Chu Yao's forehead. Right now, she was in a strange connection with the life god tree. It was like she was communicating with all life. At some point, Meng Chi, Tang Wanur, and the others appeared below the life god tree as well. Seeing that familiar figure that they hadn't seen in so many years, Meng Chi and Tang Wanur covered their mouths, tears streaming down their faces. Chapter 1438 Sisters Reunite Translator Born to be eventually, the divine light slowly faded and Chu Ya reopened her eyes. The mark on her forehead faded as well. However, now a three-petal flower appeared in her eyes. Only once that flower image faded did Chu Yao's eyes focus once more. Seeing Meng Chi and Tang Wanur, she hugged them, her voice lost in her tears. After parting last time, it had been many years. They had all experienced much suffering and misery. Seeing each other now, they had a thousand things they wanted to say but were unable to say a single word. Their tears said everything. The three of them were crying, yet they were also laughing. In this cruel and merciless world, a safe reunion was a rare luxury. After a long while, they finally calmed down. They held hands and began to chat, seeming like they had an infinite amount of things to tell each other. Chu Yao's return raised the entire atmosphere of the Dragonblood Legion. If it weren't for the current situation, they would probably have started a huge celebration. There was also no way to eat meat here, as life was sacred to the forest of life. They wouldn't kill any life forms just for food. During the past few days, the spirit race warriors had been treating them to fruit and fresh water, and everyone else could only survive on those. However, the spirit world's fruit were priceless treasures in the outside world. They were all exceptionally delicious. However, in the end, they were still fruit and to the Dragonblood Legion that was accustomed to stuffing their faces with meat, it was getting hard to endure. Of course, 
they all had rations on them, but they felt like eating meat in the forest of life would be disrespectful. So despite accompanying beautiful women every day, it was getting hard to endure. Boss, don't you think we should have a celebration today? Gu Yang rubbed his head awkwardly. Gu Yang was forced to ask this. Everyone else had already expressed their feelings to Gu Yang, and had made him their voice. Just from their expressions, Long Chen knew what they wanted. It really is a day worth celebrating, but we're in a very dense situation right now, and we need to be careful. It's not the right time for a celebration. Hearing this, all the dragon blood warriors were filled with disappointment, but they didn't dare to complain. So, the situation outside is already progressing. We have to prepare ourselves to defend the forest of life, so everyone can go to the front lines. I've prepared medicinal pills for all of you. Your mental realms have risen greatly, so you increase your cultivation bases rapidly without worry. Long Chen tossed Gu Yang a spatial ring packed with medicinal pills. The dragon blood warriors' mental realms had far surpassed their cultivation realms now. They could increase their cultivation bases without worry. The dragon blood warriors were happy to hear that, and immediately rushed off to the front lines. The front lines weren't part of the forest of life, and they could eat meat happily there. Guo Ran was about to leave too when Long Chen grabbed him. Don't get too excited Long Chen took out a small bucket of silver liquid. Guo Ran almost cried out when he saw it. Despite Long Chen's warning, he almost started dancing from excitement. How do you have this much mithril essence? Can you use the mithril essence immediately asked Long Chen. After all, Guo Ran's armor and weapons had already been forged. There was no way for him to completely recreate them at this time. A huge battle was on the verge of erupting. Of course, back when I first forged my armor, I left myself a way to upgrade it. I put an expansion rune on every piece so that if I could get mithril, all I would have to do is drip it onto the rune and it will automatically spread it throughout the item to increase its flexibility, said Guo Ran confidently. Guo Ran might be unreliable in other aspects, but when it came to forging, he was extremely trustworthy. Although the divine flame crystals had been forged into ancestral items, without mithril essence, those ancestral weapons were all crude. They possessed the necessary hardness, but lacked the flexibility. A powerful impact wouldn't be cushioned at all and would lead to the items cracking and breaking apart. Without the right material, it had been impossible to make up for this deficit. So Guo Ran, after considering this problem from every angle, had finally decided on a trick to remedy this. He had inlaid an expansion rune on every ancestral item he had forged. That was a mysterious rune from the ethereal crafting secret record. It could be likened to a person's arteries. It formed a network throughout the item with an opening exposed. Once he dropped some mithril inside it and activated the rune, the item would automatically absorb the mithril, increasing its flexibility. This was a completely secret technique that was unavailable to the rest of the world. Then that's good. I suppose you can store the mithril essence yourself. Right? Asked Long Chen. It's no problem. My forging table has its own space for storing material. Guo Ran directly took the mithril essence. All right, then here's some more. That after that of mithril essence appeared in front of Guo Ran. These huge VATs almost made him faint from shock. He was unable to believe his own eyes. He directly took it all away, feeling like he was dreaming. Work hard. The sooner you finish all the armor and weapons, the better. This relates to everyone's lives. So don't be sloppy, said Long Chen. He knew that neither Sha Guangyan nor Pen Wanchen would leave things as they were. Having slapped in the face so many times, they would definitely be coming for retribution. Furthermore, Evil Moon was in his hands. They would be coming to take it back. Things were calm now, but once they launched their attack, it would definitely be a thunderous blow. Most importantly, the Dark Forest's power was absolutely overwhelming. The Forest of Life was fundamentally unable to block them. If he wanted to resolve the forest of life's crisis, they would have to rely on themselves. Guo Ran nodded and told him not to worry. He parted with the rest of the Dragonblood Legion. Based on his excited expression, he probably wasn't even interested in eating meat now. In the blink of an eye, the Dragonblood warriors left valiantly, looking like they were marching out to battle. 
The spirit emperor even asked if Long Chen was planning on launching an attack. Long Chen knew that these fellows were simply acting like this so they could eat meat. So he told the spirit emperor that it still wasn't time for the battle, but they had to prepare for the battle. When he asked how the forest of life's power was developing, the spirit emperor told him that the life god tree had produced 800,000 spirit generals in the past few days. That was equivalent to 800,000 soul transformation experts. But these spirit generals were no ordinary soul transformation experts. Their combat power was on the level of rank 6 to rank 7 celestials, which made it so that they were almost a match for ordinary life star experts. At this moment, the spirit emperor waved his staff, and divine light shined. A mass of spirit race warriors appeared in front of Long Chen. These 800,000 warriors were born as a result of the help of the soil from Long Chen's primal chaos space. They immediately knelt on the ground, kowtowing to Long Chen. There's no need for this. Long Chen hastily waved his hands. He never kowtowed to others, and he didn't want anyone to kowtow to him either. He didn't like etiquette. This is their way of expressing their gratefulness. Without you, they wouldn't exist. Please accept their thanks, said the spirit emperor. Long Chen had no way around it, and could only endure as they continued with this etiquette. After kowtowing, the spirit emperor ordered them away. Their spirits were only just born so they can't communicate with you. This was the only way for them to expression themselves, said the spirit emperor. Long Chen nodded. This kind of detail wasn't a big deal. At this time, Chu Yao, Meng Qi, and Tang Wan Er now came back over. It seemed they had finally calmed down. Spirit Emperor, there's something important I need your help with. I have an elder who lost the majority of her longevity, causing her to lose her beauty. Do you have a method to replenish what she lost? Seeing Chu Yao, Long Chen immediately thought of this matter. Chu Yao's heart began to pound anxiously. Is she from the human race? Asked the spirit emperor. Yes. Her cultivation base is. Long Chen looked at Chu Yao. Her cultivation base is at the great circle of life star. If it weren't for me, my master might already be attempting to break through the nether passage realm. Said Chu Yao. This is simple. The human race's life energy is very limited. And making up for it isn't difficult. There's no need to disturb the life god tree for this. I can help you myself, said the spirit emperor. Her staff began to shine, and a small shoot grew out of its head. The small shoot was shining, and a holy and pure energy gathered in it. Its light felt like it could cleanse a person's soul. Three drops fell from the soft shoot then into a wooden bottle. The spirit emperor handed the bottle to Chu Yao. She could tell that Long Chen was asking this for Chu Yao. A single drop is enough to replenish her longevity. You can keep the other two drops, said the spirit emperor. Many thanks. Spirit emperor Chu Yao carefully received the bottle, thinking of how her master's lost longevity and beauty could be restored. She was incredibly emotional. Even her hands were trembling. With Chu Yao's problem resolved, Long Chen said, Spirit emperor, the battle's about to start. How is the forest of life's total power compared to the dark forest? Can you give me a full summary? Chapter 1439 A Great Battle Approaches Translator Born to be when Long Chen brought up the power difference between both sides. The spirit emperor sadly shook her head. Although the forest of life now has 800,000 new spirit generals, our true power is still probably less than a tenth of the dark forest. Due to the passageway the dark forest established in the martial heaven continent, they managed to absorb the air of death and resentment that exists there due to the constant battles. It was the best nourishment for the dark forest. The heaven-devouring forest that existed there was nothing more than the tip of the iceberg. The heaven-devouring forest simply constantly funneled the martial heaven continent's air of resentment into their channel as feed for the dark forest. To put it one way, they were just some workers for them. This is why I didn't want you to participate in this battle when you first arrived. One reason is because I didn't want to implicate you. But the other reason is that this is simply a hopeless battle the spirit emperor sighed helplessly. Looking at the huge life god tree sorrowfully. Chu Yao, Meng Qi, and Tang Wan Er were all startled. They hadn't expected the spirit emperor to have such a pessimistic view of their odds. Fortunately the others had all gone. 
or everyone's morale would probably have received a grievous blow. The life god tells me you are the lucky star that has come to save us, but the power difference is just too great. I really don't know a better way to put it. The spirit emperor was unable to understand what humans were thinking, but seeing their expressions, she knew she had said something wrong to them. Spirit emperor, I just want to know our total power, what our strengths and weaknesses are, and anything else of particular note. Just leave the rest to me, said Long Chen. There was no need for him to think of a better way to phrase this. The forest of life's life forms didn't care about such things. The spirit emperor nodded and began explaining the situation, with the four of them listening attentively. The forest of life was not good at fighting. The only ones capable of fighting against enemies were the spirit race warriors and the spirit beasts. The huge trees of the forest of life were unable to fight. They could not participate in the front lines. They were pure existences of life. Death and resentment were poison to them. This was why Yao Ling, the forest divinity that Long Chen had encountered back then, had to rely on weak villagers to bring her flesh despite being in possession of great power herself. Long Chen wasn't surprised by this at all. He had long since known of the forest of life's greatest weakness, but the tree spirits could still help them in battle. They could form a connection with the fighters, sharing their life energy. As long as they were within the spirit world, their life energy could be shared with the Dragonblood Warriors. As long as the Dragonblood Warriors didn't die instantaneously, all injuries could be rapidly healed. That kind of ability was very heaven-defying in itself. After a general explanation of the Forest of Life's total power, the Spirit Emperor gave Long Chen a green leaf. It merged into his hand, and an image of it appeared on his palm. The spirit emperor said that this was a leaf directly connected to the life god tree. Through it, Long Chen could use his spiritual strength to send orders to the life god tree, and the life god tree would transmit its orders to all the forest of life's creatures. It was the most effective way of commanding them. Long Chen nodded and comforted the spirit emperor, promising that as long as he was here, the forest of life would be fine. He left with Chu Yao, Meng Qi, and Tang Wanur. But they didn't leave the forest of life. Instead, they went to the floating islands. One of the floating islands had a waterfall that rained down beautifully under the sunlight. The four of them sat atop a giant tree leaf and soaked in the scenery. The most intoxicated one would have to be Long Chen. After so much effort, he had succeeded in brazenly leaning on all three beauties. At first, the three of them were a bit uneasy like this, and Tang Wanner pinched Long Chen a few times. But Long Chen succeeded in having all four of them relax eventually. This place is so beautiful. I really wish we could stay here forever, said Tang Wanner as she tossed a crystal and grape into Long Chen's mouth. Long Chen was lying on Chu Yao's leg, holding Meng Qi's hand, and munching on the grapes Tang Wanner fed him. This kind of blessing was something he wouldn't trade for anything. Hmm. <laughs> Long Chen closed his eyes and enjoyed this blessing, simply grunting his agreement. But the dark forest wants to destroy this beauty. They've already destroyed so much, sighed Chu Yao. When she thought about how the forest of life was going to be replaced with the dark forest, she was infuriated. Don't worry, Long Chen definitely has a plan, or he wouldn't have made such a promise. Right Long Chen, Meng Qi smiled. Hmm, <laughs> said Long Chen vaguely as he continued lying there. Long Chen, do you really have a way to handle the dark forest? asked Tang Wanur, once more dropping a grape into his mouth. Hmm, <laughs> what kind of plan? Can you tell us? probed Tang Wanur. Hmm, <laughs> the three women smiled at each other. Long Chen usually liked to keep his battle plans to himself, so hearing that he agreed to tell them, they were happy. Can you tell us already? After waiting a long time, Tang Wanur got impatient. Hmm, <laughs> now Long Chen sounded like he was just talking in his sleep. Meng Qi and Tang Wanur speechlessly looked at Tang Wanur. Tang Wanur was just about to pinch Long Chen, when she suddenly had a thought. Suppressing her anger, she once more fed Long Chen a crystal and grape. Conveniently, she also snuck in another grape-sized crystal and object in his mouth as well. Chu Yao and Meng Qi stared at her in shock. Tang Wanur simply gestured for them to be quiet, an evil smile on her face. Crack. The second grape unleashed a loud crunching sound. Long Chen shot up, spitting out what was in his mouth. Fuck. 
Are you trying to kill me? You fed me a spirit stone. Raged Long Chen when he saw the fragments. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan'er all laughed. Tang Wan'er heartlessly mocked. Long Chen, your teeth are so strong. You even managed to crush a spirit stone. I admire you. It's not just my tongue that's strong. There's also my tongue. This move is called the Dragon Claw Hand. Long Chen's hand reached out for Tang Wan'er's chest, causing her to cry out. Meng Qi and Chu Yao immediately came to help, and the four of them began to roll around. The four of them chased each other back and forth across the leaf, filling the forest with their laughter. After chasing each other across hundreds of floating islands, they finally calmed down again. Meng Qi seriously said, Long Chen. What are our chances in the upcoming battle? Chu Yao and Tang Wan'er's smiles also vanished, replaced by grave expressions. They were facing the dark forest and the martial heaven continents experts. Of course they were worried. Do you want the truth? Long Chen sighed. Of course, said Tang Wan'er. Then the truth is that I don't even have a 10% chance of beating the dark forest. What are you saying? Tang Wan'er cried out. Long Chen smiled mischievously. But although I have no confidence in beating them, I definitely won't lose. What does that mean? Asked Tang Wan'er. Long Chen saying that in the upcoming battle, we'll only be able to preserve the current state of the things. Neither side will come out with much of a victory, said Men Chi looking at Long Chen. Correct. The dark forest is too strong. Adding on the corrupt path, ancient races, and the ancient family alliances experts, our power is too low. However, I have my own trump card. As long as we can fight evenly against the martial heaven continents experts, it'll be a win for us. So right now, I'm just praying that they launch their attack as late as possible. With each passing day, we and the forest of life are growing stronger. The life god tree is giving birth to tens of thousands of spirit generals each day, and the dragon blood warrior's mental realms have risen by a massive amount thanks to the life god tree's blessing. They can consume medicinal pills to increase their cultivation bases without worry. Guo Ran is also busy increasing the power of their armor and weapons. So the later the battle, the more favorable it will be to us, said Long Chen. Long Chen, we have to work hard. The spirit race is such a kind race. They shouldn't be destroyed from this world, said Chu Yao. With Men Qi and Tang Wan are nodding along. They had all fallen in love with the forest of life. Don't worry. The forest of life once bestowed me its favor. We will repay this favor, even if I have to sacrifice this life of mine. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. I knew you would be able to do this. Considering how evil you are, it's only natural. Laughed Tang Wan'er holding Long Chen's neck intimately. If you got rid of that last sentence, it would be more perfect. Long Chen glared at Tang Wan'er. Meng Qi and Chu Yao laughed at that expression. It felt like as long as Long Chen was present, he would be able to handle any problems. The four of them didn't cultivate. They simply calmly enjoyed the beauty of the forest of life during these days. They enjoyed this rare moment of relaxation. On the fourth day, news came from the front lines. The dark forest was moving out. A mass of experts was slowly approaching the forest of life. Shockingly, the entire dark forest had been mobilized this time. An endless mass of tree demons was coming towards the forest of life. A great battle was approaching. Chapter 1440 They finally arrived translator. Born to be black air surged out. Turning the sky dark. This air was filled with slaughter and gloom. Is this the premonition of a world shaking battle? Gu Yang looked at the black clouds. The entire world had turned dim now. And his voice was subdued. This kind of scene naturally felt ominous. The very air smelled of death and it was oppressive. The dragon blood legion had fully gathered now, standing in front of the forest of life. This was the final defensive line before the forest of life. All the other defensive lines had been abandoned because of Long Chen's orders. This final defensive line was like the gate to the forest of life. Once broken, their enemies would be able to swarm in. Despite being in such a large group, this air of death was still hard to bear. What premonition? This is the dark energy released by the dark forest. That darkness is a mass of tiny runes that will allow them to unleash their attacks more effectively. That dark energy is like water, while they are the fish. Without the water, 
their combat power would sharply drop. Have you forgotten that the entire dark forest is covered in that kind of air constantly? Gu Yang, I'm puzzled. How can someone with a bright head like yours be unable to understand something so simple? Long Chen looked at Gu Yang. That bald head that reflected the sun and moonlight was definitely bright. Ha ha ha. Guo Ran, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and the others all laughed. The laughter of the dragon blood warriors made Gu Yang's whole face turn red. Boss, you're the one with the brighter head, said Gu Yang. No, I rather like my long, flowing hair. In the dragon blood legion, you're the one with the brightest head. Just having you is enough, joked Long Chen. Following Long Chen's joking, the pressure everyone felt lessened. They now felt like they had just been scaring themselves. When they had first entered the spirit world and dropped into the dark forest, they hadn't felt that the dark forest's air was so intense. This is the influence of the forest of life. It shrinks your guts. Long Chen solemnly looked at everyone, gravely saying, Right now, the difference between the dragon blood warriors and the dragon mark warriors has grown negligible. At the very least, your power is about the same. But the dragon mark warriors are lacking a certain confidence and fearlessness in their souls. That is the only area where you are lacking compared to the dragon blood warriors. That showed itself during your last tribulation. And now it's showing itself in the face of the dark forest. The dragon blood warriors are still able to stay calm. But I can see the dragon mark warriors still feel a great deal of pressure. Boss, we'll work harder on tempering our wills. Promised a dragon mark warrior. Long Chen waved his hand, shaking his head. It's not that your will isn't strong enough. The greatest difference is that you were born into too good of a family. The height that you were born into was different. The dragon blood warriors followed me from the eastern wasteland, encountering countless pitfalls and battles. We slaughtered our way out of those restrictions, forcing our way into our current height. We paid a great deal, but we also gained a great deal. As for the dragon mark warriors, You've also gone through many battles, all of them fierce and intense. You've long since tempered your wills to a good enough level. It's just that you still don't understand the meaning of battle. Why do we fight? Fighting isn't to kill, it's to protect. Fighting isn't to establish fame, but for your personal convictions. Only once you understand your convictions can you become fearless in the face of death. The reason your fear has appeared today is because of the effect of the forest of life. The forest of life? What is that supposed to mean? Asked Guo Ran. The others also didn't understand and looked at Long Chen for the answer. Long Chen solemnly said, You've been affected by the forest of life's beliefs. They are a group of kind life forms, and they feel respect and gratitude toward all life. They don't hold grudges, and they don't feel hatred. When our human race betrayed them, did they complain? Despite being betrayed by the human race, they still accept and trust us. This is their instinctual reaction. They are pure-hearted and good. They love life. They revere life. And they make life their conviction. When you received the life god tree's blessing, you were affected by that conviction. You've also started to feel respect for life. And a thirst for life. This kind of conviction is their Tao. But it's not the dragon blood legion's Tao. Our Tao is the weapons in our hands. The forest of life's creatures are kind. But that kindness can only be given to good people. If given to bad evil, they will take advantage of it and destroy them. For example, the forest of life was betrayed by the human race, and now they've fallen into their current straits. Is that fair? No. Everyone roared. Thinking of the human race's betrayal, they felt furious. They felt this was a disgrace of the entire human race. We don't have to feel guilty. That wasn't done by us and the forest of life has never blamed us for it. But look at the martial heaven continent as a whole. How many good people really exist? If you put out your kind heart, what you will get in return is betrayal and the butcher's knife. So you have to have a kind heart, but you can't give it to just anyone. To love life isn't wrong. To be grateful for life isn't wrong. But we have to know to whom we should be grateful. To respect life isn't wrong. To the people who protected us who bestowed us with our lives. We naturally have to feel gratitude and respect. But other than our parents and those elders, there's no one else worth our gratitude. If we want to protect our family in this bloody, chaotic world, then we have to bear our fangs. 
In the face of those evil people, we have to wield our butcher's knife without hesitation. The forest of life gave us its favor, and today, even if we have to fight to the last, we have to use our hot blood and lives to prove our conviction and oath. Why do we have to be afraid? Remember, what we cultivate is not the life Tao. We cultivate a killing Tao. Our world is full of disorder, and there's no way for us to discuss things reasonably. When convictions clash, the only thing that can protect us is our own butcher's blade. Novaloon.com Long Chen's words resounded through their minds. It was like they were enlightened. Before coming here, they were unrivaled warriors who had dominated whatever battlefield they had fought on. They had long since grown indifferent to death. But after receiving the life god tree's blessing, they had truly been affected by it. The desire to fight had lessened, while their respect for life grew. However, Long Chen's words brought them all back to their initial state. In the martial heaven continent, only the strong could live with dignity. Only the strong could protect those close to them. They had understood that principle before, but after being affected by the life god tree, this principle had grown muddled. Now with Long Chen's reminder, they were ashamed. Remember, there is no one innocent on a battlefield. Anyone who raises their own butcher's blade to you is someone you have to kill. Perhaps those people are innocent and don't know the true story behind the scenes. Perhaps they were tricked and are being used. But those aren't reasons. As long as someone dares to raise their blade at us, no matter what reason they have, they have to be killed mercilessly. A person has to pay the price for their own mistakes and foolishness. Because their foolishness will only bring us endless pain. Once the battle starts, don't bother with what race they come from. They only have one identity. They are all enemies. Let me repeat it again. As long as there are enemies, they must be killed with our full power. We definitely can't have mercy. Understand. Called out Long Chen. Understood. Everyone answered together. They knew that Long Chen was planning a real slaughter. Right now, the ancient races, the corrupt path, and the ancient family alliances experts were present. The corrupt path was the mortal enemy of the righteous path. So there was no need to worry about the dragon blood warriors being merciful to them. However, they might have some misjivings when it came to the ancient races and the ancient family alliance. After all, the relationship between them hadn't reached the point of either you die or I die. This made them a bit different from the corrupt path. If the dragon blood legion truly slaughtered them, those two powers would definitely become the enemies of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. There was no way the Zhuanshan Dao sect would be able to endure the attacks of those two powers. Long Chen was warning everyone because he was worried about those misjivings. On the battlefield, the people you faced were enemies, and enemies had to be killed without hesitation. Now, he was telling them that if they were unable to harden their hearts and kill their enemies, then the kind spirit race warriors behind them would be slaughtered. The spirit race warriors were powerful, but they did not walk the path of slaughter. Their killing power was limited. That was why Long Chen didn't place very high hopes on them. He placed the greatest burden on the Dragon Blood Legion. They were warriors that had followed him for many years. With his reminder, they all returned to their battle state. The sky grew darker and darker. The world felt like it was turning completely black. But that brutal aura was no longer able to affect them. Boss Gu Yan, please light up your head to show us our path in the darkness, joked a dragon blood warrior. The dragon blood legion's warriors were all good brothers, and they all joked around with each other. It was very lively, and they didn't treat each other as superiors and inferiors. Long Chen was called boss, and now the other captains were called boss as well. However, they always added their name as well to differentiate them. For example, Boss Gu Yang, Boss Guo Ran. Only captain class members were qualified to be called boss. That included Gu Yang, Guo Ran, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan. Boom. Suddenly, the ground began to tremble. Powerful auras began to rise in the distance. Slowly approaching, they'd finally come. Long Chen narrowed his eyes, staring into the distance. 